54,000 looking on, or soon will be. The coin toss won by the Trojans. They're going to receive. The Bruins will kick off to start this football game. Temperature is 80 degrees, 28 percent humidity, light three to five mile an hour winds, not a factor. Sunny and warm, that's the forecast. All right, this kickoff is brought to you by Zima, a unique alcoholic beverage. Merton to kick off for the Bruins. He hits it high and deep. Grace in the end zone, watches it go through the back line. It'll be the Trojans first and 10 out at the SC 20 as play gets underway. For the Trojans on offense, coming out to lead them is the quarterback from Mission Viejo, Rob Johnson. Johnson at 6'4 and 220 has had a magnificent year. 24 touchdowns, only four interceptions. Walters, Struther, Morton, Grayson, Banta. Up front, Baselli, Crispin, Gibson, Pollock, and Garrido. The line of scrimmage, on, Johnson boy. flips it back. Walters on the sweep. Turns the corner, takes it to the 25. Second and five defensively, the Bruins are a sensationally good football team. Sally Asaya, George Case, and Matt Werner are the people's down front. Jameer Miller, one of the great outside linebackers. Cozy Littleton, Kerry Quinn, and Donnie Edwards. And the secondary has Lawrence, Greenwood, Goodwin, and Collier. Second and five at the 25. Deion Struther in motion. Johnson to throw. In the flat. Too high for Struther. Collier on defense. It'll be third and five at the 25. Well, I'll tell you, Tom, on that first play, uh, I think USC set the mood for this game. Uh, Brad Banner knocked the outside linebacker right on his back. SC feels they have to run right at UCLA to establish how they're going to play this football game. Well, Quinn comes out now, and the Bruins uh, add an extra defensive back. Third down and five. A rush, pass to Grace. Flanker screen, he struggles and may get the first down as he is out very close to the 30. But they're not going to be given it because the head linesman from across the way came in and marked it short of the 30. <laughs> Fell across the 30, but did not get the mark, and the Trojans will have to kick it. Well, Awfully early for a break like that, isn't well, you're it? You're not kidding. Watch it again. It's a slip screen that SC's run all year. And let's see where they spot it. Boy, I'll tell you, SC did not get a break in that spot. All right, putting situation. Well kicked. At the 35 and dragged down at the 37 across the way is Adams. 45 yards on the kick, seven yards on the return. Knight made the stop. And the Bruins will have it first and 10 at the UCLA 35-yard line. Make it the 34. Well, it looks like Stonehouse has found that groove. Uh, you know, he had a little slump there during the Notre Dame week, but the last two or three weeks, he's really been punting the football great. Bruins come out. Cook will be at quarterback for UCLA. Washington, Davis, Stokes, Allen, and Jordan. First down at the 34. The handoff, uh, no, the fake, and the pass is out on the flat and bobbled by Jordan, who was out there all alone with Johnny Herpin coming up. Some fine faking by Wayne Cook, and Jordan just couldn't handle it. As we told you for the Bruins, Cook is at quarterback, the junior from Newberry Park. Davis, Washington, Stokes, Jordan, and Allen. Jordan just dropping that one. Up front, Ogden, Novitsky, Flanagan, Stevens, and Parker. Second down and 10 at the 34. High formation. Play action, Cook to throw, fires it out in the flat. Diving catch, complete, of course, and with it is um, Stokes. Excuse me, Wynn. Wynn makes the catch. Up to the 42-yard line. It'll be third down and two. McGinnis, Holland, Kennelly, and Jones for the Trojans defensively. 
with Williams, Berry, and Kopp as the up linebackers and Seahorn, Herpin, Phillips, and Salmon. The pass thrown, complete. Caught across the way. That one caught by now win again. And they'll mark it at the Bruin 47 for a first down. Well, that was the first time USC was a man-to-man -to -man today. And uh, they just ran a quick out on Jason Seahorn through the ball for the first down. Good grab. Wynn's quite a young guy. He's from Portland, Oregon. All right, first and 10 for the Bruins at their 47-yard line. Davis is the tailback. Washington, the up back in the eye, and the give is to Davis. Straight ahead, finds an opening toward the side, and he's grabbed by Seahorn and wrestled down at the Trojan 41 for a nifty gain of about 12 yards. They've got a flag on the play, though. I think the UCLA tailback or fullback was moving. Well, they're going to call it against the Trojans. Offside SC, and the penalty declined. Let's see if we can see the movement. I can't see it from this look, but this is a good cut by Davis. He shows you the quick feet that he's got and the good speed. That's a good open field tackle there by Jason Seahorn. First and 10 for the Bruins on the Trojan 41-yard line. They started this drive on their own 34. After the Trojans went three and out. Again, Davis the tailback. Long count. Davis again. Slips a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Another one as he runs through Seahorn and takes it down to the 35-yard line as the Trojans missed him at the line of scrimmage, missed him in the immediate backfield, and finally missed him once again before knocking him down at the 35. A gain of six. It'll be second and four. Boy, has he got quick feet. I know Coach Donahue is really high on this young guy. He really thinks he's going to be quite a back for UCLA. Second and four at the Trojan 36-yard line. And off to the up back into the middle, sprints his way. Washington takes it to the Trojan 25. A gain of 10, maybe 11, and a first and 10 UCLA. And the Bruin offensive line of Ogden, Nowitzki, Flanagan, Stevens, and Parker opening up some big holes in the Trojan defense. Well, I think that play was really caused by Wayne Cook. USC was playing their soft defense in the middle, and he automatic to that trap play. First and 10 at the Trojan 25. Washington and Davis in the backfield. Max is split. Cook, short drop, quick out, pass from complete. Caught by Stokes, who's out of bounds at about the 15 yard line or thereabouts. We'll wait and see where the officials mark it. Seahorn knocked him out. Well, they kept the Trojans in man to man, and, and for Jason Seahorn has to be man to man on J.J. Stokes, and you can see he's playing off of him. We're expecting his speed. He runs a quick out, and they get the first down. He's out of bounds, just to. short of a first down at about the 16 and a 15 and a half. It'll be second and about a yard to go. Again, the backs is split. Bruins started this drive on their own 34. Into the middle and not much there. Davis stacked up as he crosses the 15, but he would have, I think, enough to get the first down. Call it first and 10 at about the 14 yard line. Yeah, they're going to bring the chains in as you take another look at it. The off tackle play, kick out with your fullback and stay up inside just like that. Try to get the first down. Wynn has come on to replace Jordan. It is first down, as we surmised, at the 14. No score, first period. In the shotgun now. Cook. Play action, looking throws, incomplete. Tried to get it to the big guy, Stokes. Good coverage by Seahorn. It'll be second and 10 at the 14. Boy, Wayne Cook's mad at himself there, Tom. He had him on that quick post pattern. You want to throw that thing right to his numbers. Don't throw it up high like that. Watch as he makes the break here on the post. Let the ball go, and you hit him between the one and eight. You can see it's going to be a little high and behind him. The Bruins have shown a varied offensive attack here. This drive that started on their 
34-yard line. Second and 10 at the Trojan, 14. And off to the tailback, up the middle, nothing there but green grass till he gets to the five. Davis tripped up by Mike Salmon as John Robinson patrols the far side. It'll be third down and about a yard to go at the Trojan five-yard line. And again, the Here Bruins open a big hole up front. Here it is, just the isolation play up inside. And as we said at the top of the broadcast, whoever controls the line of scrimmage offensively is going to win this football game. And UCLA is doing a fine job of blocking right now. No question about it. They've moved from their 34 to the Trojan 5 with a third and one. Big play time. To overstate the obvious. Cook rolling, may run it in. Touchdown, UCLA. I haven't seen an official sign of you, but he positive he scored. Wayne Cook runs it into the end zone, and the Bruins go 66 yards on a very fine drive to take in 11 plays the early lead. Six to nothing. Now the almost automatic Merton for the extra point. The ball is down, and the try is up and good. 7-0 UCLA, and we've got 9.38 remaining in the first period as the Bruins go 66 in 11 plays. We'll be back right after this. Very nicely engineered drive by Wayne Cook, and he capped it off by taking it in the end zone himself from the five-yard line. 7-0, 66 yards, 11 plays, 9.38 time remaining here in the first period. As Burton kicks off to the Trojans once again, this one high, not all that deep. Dotson at the 10. Ridden down at about the 23-yard line. In there to make the stop for the Bruins, number 97, Philip Ward. They'll mark it at the 23, first and 10 for the Trojans. You know, Tom, that call by uh, Homer Smith upstairs here on third and one, I thought it was a great call. The bootleg is one of the great plays in football. Johnson comes up to the line of scrimmage. Gibson the center, Johnson to throw. Has time, pass to Morton. Morton has it at about the 34-yard line. They're going to mark it close to the 35, first and 10 on a 12-yard pickup. Lawrence was there to make the stop, and Johnson put some hurry up on that one and drilled it out there in fine fashion. Well, you're right about that. He had some mustard on that ball. He threw a strike. That was right on the line. Johnny Morton has caught a pass in the last 23 games played at USC. McWilliams in motion. The give to the fullback and uh, Deion Struther goes straight ahead. Up over the 30 and out to about the 32 yard, excuse me, 37 yard line. Be second and eight. Well, the USC's idea today is to spread the Bruin defense out by their formations and try to run right at them in the middle, and that's what they're attempting to do on that play. At the 37, it'll be second down and eight. 7-0 UCLA opening drive by the Bruins as Robinson patrols the far sidelines. Tailback, Sean Walters. Pretty good protection over the middle for Banda. Johnson missed him. He had Johnny Morton all alone down here at about the 35-yard line. Not a Bruin within 10 yards of it. Yeah, he sure did. They were clearing out with Johnny Morton trying to drag Banna up underneath the linebackers against that zone defense. You can see him coming underneath the backers right here. You can see the pass rush. They get their hands up and force him to throw the ball just a little bit high. And a little bit quick. It seemed he had a lot of time to throw the ball, but rushed into bed. Big play time again for the Trojans. Third down. Oh, my. Big play indeed, barreling in on top was Gallatin for the sack. And the Bruins just about decapitate. 
Rob Johnson and the Trojans will have to kick it away from their 30-yard line. Well, that was a corner blitz by Gallatin, and he's he's not called for in the blocking scheme. That's the quarterback's man. You've got to recognize a blitz, and you get rid of the football. Adams is back as the solo safety for UCLA, standing at the Bruin 30. Stonehouse hits a beautiful putt, driving Adams back. Adams at the 17-yard line, looking for somewhere to go, is thrown down quickly on the Reggie stop. Perry made Reggie a great Perry. tackle. 53 yards and three yards on the return. It'll be first and 10 Bruins just outside the 20. 7-0 UCLA. We'll be back. Let's take over first down on their own 21-yard line following a 53-yard kick by Stonehouse. Bruins are still huddling with Donahue on the sidelines, and out they come. Cook again at quarterback. And there is Davis, number 31. Jordan is in, flanked wide to the right. Washington is number 30. High formation. Cook uh, may be changing up. Hands off to his tailback, finds an opening, and takes it to the 30-yard line. That's Davis. Phillips comes up from the secondary to make the stop. Going to be a gain of nine. It'll be second and one. That's the second time Wayne Cook has done that, Tom. They're trying to isolate their fullback on the USC inside linebackers, and they're doing a darn good job of it. I would say that that's an understatement. <laughs> Got that. They have run the ball at ease, with ease, against the Trojans. Second down and about a yard. And they hand off to the fullback. He breaks a tackle. And Davis slips ahead to the 35. And it'll be a first and 10 at that point before Holland can bring him down. It's a very big offensive line the Bruins have. Ogden is 6'8", 315. Nowitzki, 6'6", 280. Stevens is 6'4", 275. And Parker, 6'4", 300. And the center, Flanagan, is a little guy at 6'5", 255. And they're big enough to play this game. Oh, and then some. First and 10 at the Bruin 35. They lead 7-0. Cook rolling, looking, throws it over the middle, pass complete to uh, Nyan to win. And Wynn takes it to midfield, 15 yards and a first down. Well, that was a great job by Wayne Cook. It was a bootleg, and he really wanted to go to the out. He really wanted to go to J.J. Stokes. Watch him here as he comes back against the grain. He's looking at the out. Now I go to my secondary receiver because I saw a two-deep zone. That, that's an excellent job by Wayne Cook. Bruins have it at midfield. Uh, they've come 29 yards in three plays. First down. Out of the shotgun. Hand off. Trying to turn the corner and getting a couple of hicks. Seahorn finally came up to make the stop from his cornerback spot, and they'll mark it at the Trojan 45, second and five at that point. Well, Willie McGinnis had good position. Watch him at the top of your screen, Ryder. He's got good position. He's fighting off the tight end, fighting off the tight end, and he just doesn't wrap him up right here at the end. The Bruins put together a 64-yard drive the first time they had the ball, and now this drive starting on their 21 is at the Trojan 45. And again, a changeup. Milliner is in now at the fullback spot. They hand it off, and the second man is Hicks, and he's dropped at the 45 as Berry makes the tackle. It'll be third and five, and that's the first time the Bruins have been stopped on the ground for either a loss or no gain. The Trojans needed that play against the UCLA run, and the coach's son, Joe Berry, made it. Milliner comes out, Hicks comes out. Davis is the lone setback behind Cook. Allen in motion. Receiver strong to the right side. Back to throw. Cook throws it. Complete. Caught by Stokes and out of bounds at the 33-yard line. 12 yards on it. The first and 10 UCLA. Well, Homer Smith is doing a good job here of formation in USC the way he wants him. He's got three receivers to the right, and that leaves J.J. Stokes one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what they eventually want to get down to. They want a man-to-man -man defense and get the ball to that young guy. Cook is five out of seven, 49 yards, and he scored the only touchdown so far and a five-yard keeper. First down at the 33, and the Bruins continue to advance. Backs a split. 
And they hand off to Milliner, and he breaks one tackle, then is dropped at the 29, as he was hit by Cunningham. That'll be a gain of about four, make it second and six at the 29 of USC. This is a well-designed play. It's a draw play. And Cook does a magnificent job of showing you pass and then handing the ball off. I, I really like the ball handling of the UCLA quarterbacks. They do a wonderful job of handling the football. Jordan, number four, goes wide to the right, or open side of the field. Second down, six. Bruins on the march. Hand off to Hicks. Dropped as he gets to the 20, uh, Davis, excuse me, dropped as he gets to the 26-yard line. It'll be third and three at the 26 as Cunningham is there to make the stop. Almost without exception this year, the Trojans have been behind in the first half. You sure have. I think without exception. Certainly North Carolina, Penn State, Notre Dame, of course. They trailed Washington at the half. Arizona. Third down and three. Big play time again for the SC defense. Cook in the shotgun. Gets a rush over the middle. Pass complete to the tight end. Allen takes it down to the 12 and another first down. 14 yards. Williams makes the stop. Once again, it's a spread formation. It's trips to the left. Single over on the right with uh, J.J. Stokes. It's just a look-in pass to the tight end, and your linebacker's got to get there, and obviously the Trojans didn't get there that time. This drive started on the Bruin 21, and they've marched to the Trojan 12, where they've got a first down. 7-0, UCLA. Cook has done a masterful job. Hands the ball off. Spinning away, but being dropped at the 9 is Hicks. Well, obviously, Coach Robinson's a little concerned right now. UCLA is doing a great job of mixing the run with the pass. SC is playing a two-deep zone, trying to double-team Stokes. And when you do that, you're one man short on the run. So when the Bruins see that, that's why they're running the football. Second and seven at the nine-yard line. Stokes flanked wide to the right. Cook out of the shotgun. Play action fake, looking for Stokes. Going to be hit, knocked down. Willie McGinnis got him. There's a flag down about the three-yard line. Looks like it might be pass interference on Jason Seahorn, or maybe it's offensive pass interference, but it was thrown right at his feet. The Bruins say it's against SC. So far, the referee hasn't told us. Pass interference or a defensive holding against the Trojans. Yeah, they got locked up there together. Man, man, here it is at the top of the screen. Jason comes up man to man on him. He's trying to break it inside, and they got him for his right hand right there. Remember, when that guy gets to the side of you, you can't touch him. You can hit him when he's right in your face, but when he gets to the side, nail him, just like Willie nailed Wayne Cook. Well, it's going to be defensive holding, an automatic first down, and they'll take it to the four. First and goal at the four for UCLA. They've marched from their own 21-yard line to the Trojan four. Coming into the game is Adams now. Well, I know Mrs. Seahorn's not happy. She came all the way down from Shasta to see her son play his last game, and uh, what a nice lady, Nancy Seahorn. In two drives up to this moment, the Bruins have 10 first downs. The Trojans have one. Into the end zone goes Hicks, untouched, and the Bruins lead 13 to nothing. 78 yards. Better make it 79 yards. Hicks getting the touchdown. For Hicks, that's his fifth of the year. Now the try for the extra point. 13-0. Merton hits it. It's up and good. 14-0. UCLA with 2.14 remaining in the first quarter. 
And again, the Bruins uh, go a long way in 11 plays, culminating with this scamper into the end zone. We'll be back. And circa 1993, 14 to nothing UCLA. Two very impressive drives. 64 yards and 79 yards. 22 plays, and they've racked up some 10 first downs while the Trojans have one. Merton's kickoff is headed for the end zone. Grace will down it there, and the Trojans will have it first and 10 at the 20. You know, seeing Kenny Washington in there, you remember where his son went to school, don't you, Tom? Yes, indeed. Played baseball for Rod, Rod Dato. Dato. Yeah. Good Trojan. Well, I tell you, this has um, the type of rivalry that ends up with that. 11 plays, 79 yards. Hicks with the four-yard run for the score. Remember, Rudy Bukic was a quarterback at SC. His son went to UCLA. UCLA. That's right. Foster Anderson coached yeah. at SC, played at UCLA. His son is at UCLA. High formation. Trojans on their own 20, trying to put something together. Walters up the middle, takes it out to about the 25. Second and five at the 25. Straight up the middle for Sean Walters. Well, in talking to John Robinson early in the week, or practically every day, how many banquets did you and I speak at this week? How many days are there <laughs> in a week? Nine, aren't there? Are there nine days in a week? This week especially. But talking to Coach Robinson at every one of these things this week, he wanted to try to establish the run, and he's still going to try to do it, even though he's down 14 points. Walters goes out of the game. Dion Struther, the lone setback. Coming in motion is Cashman. The pitch to Struther. They're trying to turn the corner. Blockers in front, but they disappear as uh, the Bruin defense rallies and coming over to make the stop is Jameer Miller, number 95 at the 29-yard line. Boy, is he It'll quite a third and one or two. Is he point. a football player? Watch him react to USC sweep right here. The student body right, one back short. Jameer Miller, to me, he's, he's the Willie McGinnis of UCLA. He's big, he's quick, he can read. He's the number one draft choice you're looking at right there. Seemed to me the Trojans had a lot of people to block for Struther, but they were doing it in slow motion. Nobody coming downfield to hit anybody and knock them out of the way. As a result, Struther kind of walked up to the line of scrimmage, and we've come to a timeout. SC taking timeout with 57 seconds remaining here in this first period as Johnson goes over to talk to John Robinson. That's Kyle Waholtz, the backup quarterback for the Trojans, in on the conversation. Mike Riley has had a brilliant season with the Trojans. Bud Riley's a son. His son, but he's really had the hot hand. You know, I actually saw him play high school football. He's from Corvallis, Oregon, and he was the state player of the year in the state of Oregon that year, 1974. And his dad coached for you. His dad was my defensive coach at Oregon State. You know, seeing Coach Donahue down there on the sideline, Terry and I were the finalists for the Oregon State head coaching job. I wish he'd have done better on his interview. <laughs> The ball will be at the 29-yard line, a third down, and at least one. They probably didn't hire him because he looked so young. You see him there? He doesn't look like he's been coaching 18 years at UCLA. Oh, he's got a picture of Dorian Gray in his, in his <laughs> attic. I can tell you that. <laughs> the ball nosed up to the 29. Third down. The Trojans have only one first down so far in this first half. Bruin defense is very, very good. Johnson changing up, goes back and talks to Dion Struther. Pitches back. And they get the first down just by about a yard, over the 30 to the 31, Boy, making it first and 10. Obviously, there was some miscommunication there. Uh, I don't know whether we're going to see a replay or not, but uh, Rob was trying to get the ball to Deion Strother, and the way he pitched it, it looked like a guy throwing somebody a hot potato. 50 seconds, and the clock running now, remaining in the first period. 14 to nothing, UCLA. They have dominated this opening stanza. Two lengthy drives, each taking up 11 plays and a lot of minutes, and they lead 14 to nothing. Johnson trying to get the Trojans on track. The handoff to Walters trying to come outside. Broke a tackle for a moment, but Jameer Miller was not going to let go. Well, that was another fine play by Jameer Miller. He plays off the tackler and makes the tackle himself. He, he really uses those long arms of his. He 
keeps you away from his body, and he has strong upper body strength. I tell you, the guy, I really like him. You really are seeing a number one draft choice there. Seconds are ticking down. We've come to the end of the first period of play. As right now, the whistle blows, and the uh, score here at the Coliseum. At the end of one, UCLA 14, USC nothing, and we'll be back after this. Fourteen to nothing, the Bruins lead. We start the second period. Frank Gifford being honored down on the field, the kid from Bakersfield. That's Whatever became of him? Anyway. I heard he's doing something on television. I don't know. <laughs> well, what a great player he was. He was an all-purpose guy. He could punt, he could throw, he could run, he played defense, and actually he was from Oildale, California, which is right outside of Bakersfield. Frank still looks great, though, doesn't he? Indeed he does. The ball is at the Trojan 32. It'll be second down at about nine as we start the second period. The Trojans have a lot of making up to do. Johnson to throw. Has some time. Goes down the middle long. He's got Morton. Morton is at the 35. Down to the 30-yard line. Lawrence finally makes the stop. 38 yards and a first and 10 USC at the Bruin 30. Well, that was a play USC needed to get some momentum going. And Rob Johnson did a great job. Uh, John Morton was not his primary receiver. They're going to try to break behind the zone in the seam between the corner and safety. Johnny settles under it. Watch his quick feet. Watch the move right there. Well, that's something you can't teach. I'll tell you that. First down at the Bruin 30-yard line. Trojans trying to get back into this game. They trail 14 to nothing. Johnson sends Cashman in motion out of the H-back, and the pitch is back to Walters, the tailback. Head down, he fights his way to the 26-yard line, a gain of about five. Greenwood, Cozy Littleton, and others beat him there. And USC is trying to do the same thing that the Bruins have been doing them, out formation them. They motion to the wide side of the field so they can run the pitch back into the short side of the field right here. Good job by Littleton to get there. Let's go, back. Littleton was there. In force. Just nosed up to the 25. Grace is wide to the right. McWilliams in the slot. Johnson to throw. Looking. Throws. That's complete. Out of bounds at about the 13-yard line is Banta, the tight end, and Greenwood made the tackle. It'll be first and 10 on a 14-yard pickup. Boy, that was a big league throw by Rob Johnson right here. Watch their outside backer get depth. He's got to throw it over the backer in front of the corner. That is a major league throw. Banta, one of 20-some seniors on this SC team. Wide to the right is Morton. Coming to the left side is Grace. High formation at the Bruin 13-yard line. 14-0 UCLA. They give the ball to Deion Struther, and nobody can get out of his way, meaning nobody in a Cardinal in gold uniform in that offensive line, not coming off the ball very well. As a result, Struther was stacked up by his own people as much as anything else. They'll give him a yard to the 12. It'll be second and nine at that point. Sally Asaya comes out of the game for UCLA at the Bruin 12-yard line. Second down. Johnson lobs it. Deion Struther is out of bounds at the four. It'll be first and goal. Bennett drove him out. Boy, Rob Johnson really made that play. There was a corner blitz. Number 21, Greenwood, was coming from his corner position, and obviously he's unblocked. Rob saw it, and your fullback is uncovered. Watch him pick it up right here. Uh, he does a great job to stay in bounds. He's an unsung hero on this football team, I think. I think this guy is the heart and soul of this team. They're going to mark it, so it is third and inches at the three-yard line. Third down and inches for a first down. It'll be a five-yard penalty against SC for illegal procedure. Boy, I'll tell you, Garrido, he must have an e-ticket for the ride he just took.
Lots of discussion going on down there. Baselli right in the middle of it. But I think they're going to levy the five against SC. Dead ball. Full start. Offense. Still third down. So from third and inches, it now becomes third and five. Here it is. Look at the right side of your screen right there. It oh, was sure. It was Garrido, and he pays for it. Watch that. Did he pay the price? Well, Garrido and Banda. Once Garrido went, Banda went with him. Yeah. So now, instead of third and inches at the four, it is third and five back at the nine. Boy, that's the kind of plays that just drive coaches crazy. That ages you right there. SC started this drive on its own 20. The Bruins lead 14 to nothing. 94,000 plus on hand. There's a few of the brain surgeons. I wonder what year in school that last guy was in. Johnson to throw, dumps it. Keon Struther gets it down to the five, but not enough for the first down. Greenwood hit him there, and it's going to be fourth down at the five, fourth and about one, maybe two for the first down. Well, Greenwood put a lick on him. Watch, watch Rob Johnson get hit, too. He got a lick on this play, too. But there is a stick, baby. If he throws it three yards over the head of Struther, it's in the end zone for a touchdown. Well, SC's going for it. This shows some courage right here. This is what this game's all about. The crowd is on its feet. Fourth down and at least two at the five. Cashman in motion. The pitch to Deion Struther. He was undecided. Had he gone outside, he might have made it. He stuck his head back inside, and the Bruins nailed him. Well, remember the thing we talked about at the beginning of the show was the uh, offensive line play, and the Bruins have been making them, and the Trojans haven't. What's the right side of your line? It's student body right. They stuff, they stuff Tyler Cashman, and the play has no chance of going when you can't contain with your tight end. So the Bruins take over. First and 10 at their six-yard line. SC, case of love's labor lost. From their 20 to the Bruin, three and a half, only to have a penalty set them back, and then the Bruin defense shut them off on a fourth down situation. 77 yards for naught. Well, USC's defense has got to come to play now. They've got to hold the Bruins. Get good field position and let the Trojans have an opportunity to bring it back down. Seem to have a timeout on the field. There's Rick Neuheisel there, but the blonde fellow with the headset on. He played quarterback at UCLA, most valuable player in the Rose Bowl, but he also went to USC Law School. 14 to nothing, the Bruins lead. We'll be back after this timeout. Drive after 77 yards, and Cook takes over first down on his own six. Hands off to his tailback, Davis, who uh, crunches it out to the 10. It'll be second and six after the gain of four. Willie McGinnis to make the stop. Yeah, he ran right behind Von Parker, the big right tackle for UCLA. He's over 300 pounds, and again, he's the number one draft choice. He's a guy pro football is really going to go after. 81 yards to 16 in the rushing department, UCLA, with a 14-0 advantage. Doing it on the ground and in the air. I think Chris going to throw this one. Now hands it off to his tailback who squirms in an opening and takes it out close to the first down. Not quite to the 11. Tackle uh, Davis was uh, stopped in there by a cop. It is going to be third down in inches. I think it is. At the 15 yard line it'll be third and at least a yard to go. Davis comes out of the lineup. Back in goes Hicks. Bruins mounted two big offensive drives in that first period. Trojans answered with one of their own but came up empty. First down as Hicks just follows that offensive line and uh, walks to about the 18-yard line and a first and 10. Two good blocks by their center, Flanagan, and their right guard, Derek Stevens. Uh, like you said earlier, they're always big. Here they are. A little push USC off the line of scrimmage. Remember at the top of the show, Tom, we talked about the offensive line play, and the Bruins are really playing offensive line play right now. First down, UCLA. They lead 14 to nothing. Cook out of the shotgun. And Hope keeps it himself, rolling to the right. Going to run it. He's at the 20. And he goes down and out of bounds. 
Downs at about the 27 yard line. A gain just shy of the first down, second and one at the 27, as Cop was there to push him out of bounds. Cooks a, a study in courage. He's playing with a very badly bruised kidney. Yeah, Missed last week's game. Here he is on the bootleg. It's an option to run or pass. SC drops back into pass coverage and he runs. And as you said, he is a courageous young guy. Out of Newberry Park. The ball is at the 27. Third down, about a yard shy of a first down. SC defense hasn't done much to stop these Bruins. There's the first down easy as Davis just bowls his way over the 30 to the 32. That's a gain of five and it's first and 10 at the 32 yard line. SC being manhandled at the line of scrimmage. No question about it. There's an old lineman right there. Terry went both ways for him as a defensive tackle and an offensive guard when he first started at UCLA. 14 to nothing. The Bruins, uh, their ground game, eating up the clock. We've got 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Backs a split for Cook. First down. Play action. Rolling away, chased by McGinnis. Throws the pass to the tight end. And catching it is Allen, and he's out to the 40-yard line. For coming up from the secondary was Micah Phillips to make the stop. Gain of eight, second and two. Here it is, the bootleg the other way now. Try to drag your tight end across, and he's got him. This is a good tackle by Kyle Phillips here. Phillips really impresses me as an open field tackler. If he gets you in his sights, he's going to nail you. Well, it's even more impressive when you consider that Allen is 6'3", 231. Micah Phillips nowhere near that size. Milliner is in now as the up back. Cook hands off to the second back, Hicks, who uh, breaks a tackle. Cunningham hit him, and he walked away from Cunningham and got it to the 41 for a gain of one. It'll be third down and a yard to go for the Bruins at their 41-yard line. John Robinson paces the sideline. A difficult, difficult time. Stokes wide to the right side of the field. Hicks is the tailback. Third and one. Cook rolling, looking, throws. Pass complete to Stokes. Out of bounds at the 46. Knocked out of bounds by Seahorn. First down, UCLA. Well, that's a good call by Homer Smith. Uh, obviously, with third and short, you can see SC play on the run. Good play action fake. He has the option to run or throw. He sees Stokes open and hits him, and Stokes on exactly where the posts are. See him drive Jason Seahorn off and then break it off. That's why he and Johnny are so dangerous. Boy, you, you got to play them deep. You have to respect their speed. So the Bruins have marched from their own six to their 46. Milliner goes in motion. Cook back to throw, has a ton of time, throws it, knocked away, almost intercepted. Micah Phillips. That's one of the good defensive plays the Trojans have come up with in this ball game. Really, the last two weeks, I think he's had two great ball games. I, I'm falling in love with this guy. I said one of the good defensive plays. I should have said one of the few good defensive plays. Pass intended for Jordan. It'll be second down as you watch Stokes get a lot of attention. That's what See Horn and then Cunningham. He was quadruple covered on that play. Second down at the 46. And up to the tailback, breaks to the secondary, down to the 42, that's Davis, and a big first down for UCLA. 12 yards and the Bruins continue to march. Boy, Cunningham got blocked there, I guarantee you he did. Watch Cunningham, the linebacker at the right of your screen. Right there. Are they opening up some holes, or is that just me? Big. 11 play uh, carries for Davis and 72 yards so far. Hicks has a touchdown, and Cook has one. It's 14 to nothing, UCLA. There's a whistle. We've got eight and a half minutes remaining in the first half, and uh, Davis is coming out of the ball game. Washington is in. Washington and Hicks. Cook is in the shotgun. Trojans need a big play defensively. Cook to throw. Going long downfield. Knocked away. Great defense. 
defensive effort by Johnny Herpa. John Herpin makes a play here that all defensive back coaches dream about. Stay right in her hip pocket. Keep your outside arm free. Watch as he approaches the ball and reaches in with his right hand and just bats it away. This is exactly what you try to teach. There's a good defensive play because that ball was on the money. Second down at the 42-yard line. Virgin defense has given up yardage in big chunks. SC trails 14 to nothing. Cook keeps it on the option. Two or three Trojans run right by him. Terry McDaniels ran right by the quarterback. McGinnis finally made the stop at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. His kidneys must be all right because he's going to take a real lick here on this option play. Will McGinnis takes the outside. He breaks it back up inside. And look at that stick right there. I can't believe McDaniels ran right by him. That's Phillips again. Yep. They're down in four. Trojans will have to stop them here or they'll face a major deficit. Cook to throw. Chased out of the pocket. Throws incomplete. Knocked away by Herpin. Intended. Intended for Anderson and Herpin comes up with another big defensive play. And that's two in that series for him. That's going to make that man smile a little bit. Fourth and four at the 36. Here it is. SC's in man to man defense. He wanted to go to Stokes. He comes back off of it. That was another tremendous play by John Herpin. The Bruins are sending Shager in to kick it. There was some uh, hesitation on the sidelines. I don't know, but what I might have tried to go for the first down, the way the offense is moving the ball. Wayne Cook's a little upset with the coach's decision there. He wanted to go for it. I wouldn't be surprised if they did run it out of this formation. Keep your eye on them. No, they've got it back to Shager, and he hits it for the end zone, trying to kick it out of bounds. Instead, he kicks it almost up to Hollywood. It'll come out to the 20, and SC will have it first and 10 at that point. So the Trojans are down 14 to nothing. The Bruins have marched at will against SC. The last time the Trojans had the ball, they went 77 yards and came up empty. 14 to nothing Bruins, timeout. We'll be back with more after this. First and 10 at the 20, Johnson backpedaling, has time, throws it out, incomplete into and out of the hands of Johnny Morton. Lawrence there on defense. It'll be second. Herbie was the intended receiver. Second down and 10 at the 20. Rob Johnson put that one right on the money. He just didn't concentrate on catching that football. That's, uh, summing it up quite succinctly. Exactly. You want to catch the point of that ball. You don't want to catch the ball. You catch the point, the closest one to you. Second and 10 at the 20 yard line. SC down 14 to nothing. Johnson to throw. Sideline flag is down. Would appear to be, as the pass goes well into the Trojan sideline, going to be a holding call against SC. Folks, can we get you? Penalty will be against the Trojans. Penalty is refused. Penalty is refused. Going to be third down, third and ten. SC's had the only flags thrown against it so far in this ball game. And of course, the big one was uh, that one down a third and inches at the three yard line. Martin to the right, Herbie's to the left. Third down and ten. Johnson. Well, no place to throw it. And not too quick coming out of the backfield to run it. Johnson is dropped, tackled by Edwards, and on fourth down, the Trojans will have to kick it to UCLA. Well, this is a coverage sack. They were in a two-deep zone, and they covered every lane and seam in that zone, and Rob was flushed out of there. Stonehouse, who has kicked the ball well for the Trojans today. Hey! Down goes uh, the kicker, Stonehouse, and a flag 
Bruins lying all over him, and that is not a five beta kappa move. That's a first down, and the Trojans get the football back. Coach Donahue is not happy with that one. They were going to try to block that punt, and they got four of them coming loose. I don't know whether we're going to be able to see the replay, but they nailed him pretty good. Stonehouse has been kicking the ball well. Penalty is going to walk it out to the 35 yard line. That's a 15 yarder. That's not running into, that's roughing the kicker. Well, they moved it out to the 36. Six and a half minutes go in this first half. 14 to nothing, UCLA. Incumbent upon Johnson, an offensive company, to do something. He's back to pass, comes in, throws it low, incomplete at the feet of Dion Struther. Defensively uh, for um, UCLA, Edwards, the linebacker, had the fullback coming out of the backfield. Second and 10 at the 36. UCLA's defensive line is doing a good job. They're not sacking Rob Johnson, but they're hurrying his throws. They're getting up in his face and forcing him to throw the ball a little sooner than he wants. Second down and 10 at the Trojan 36. Johnson chased out of the pocket and sacked back at the 29, Gallatin. Third and 17. Boy, Gallatin did a great job of disguising the safety blitzer. He doesn't come till after Rob's taken two or three steps right here looking. Watch Gallatin come from the left. And he's running free. He did a tremendous job of disguising that blitz. Had he gotten away, Nikosi Littleton had his uh, sights set on him, he would not have gone far. So third and 17 for the Trojans at their own 29-yard line. 5.45 and the clock running here in the second period. And the Trojans on offense with one drive that ended with zip find themselves in big trouble here. Coach Robinson wants to talk about it. He just called a timeout from the sideline. 5.38 is the time remaining as Johnson goes over to talk to the coach. 14-0 Bruins will be back after this. High school. He recruited me to come to USC, Tom. He's well, he made a wise choice. He's a big-time car dealer over in Las Vegas now. Is he really? Mm-hmm. Last time I heard Pete Bethard was up there as well. Is Pete Bethard up yeah, there? Yeah, unfortunately, that town's got both of them. <laughs> well, I won't worry about Vegas. It can take care of itself. Third and 17 for the Trojans at the SC 29. Johnson has time. Throws over the middle. McWilliams. But a little route that took him out to the 32-yard line. Certainly no 17 yards there. And a fourth down and kicking situation, fourth and 14 at the 32. Wow. Here it is. UCLA's in a two deep zone coverage and forces Rob Johnson to throw the ball back underneath short. That's all he had. Well, he had Deion Struther coming out here at the bottom of the screen that looked like he was uncovered. Stonehouse to kick. Adams waiting for the ball at the 22. Stonehouse has punted it beautifully. It's another good one. At the 26, coming this way. Cutting back and getting hit. And dropped it about the 28 is Adams. We'll see where they mark forward progress. 41 yards on the punt by Stonehouse. They'll mark it at the 28. It'll be first and 10. Micah Phillips down there under the punt. They're going to mark it at the 29. 517 to go in the first half. The Bruins have been error-free. They've not fumbled, not thrown an interception. They've had only one flag. They have played a near-perfect first half of football. Davis is the tailback. Washington the upback and Cook at quarterback. Gives it to his tailback. Gets to the 32 for a gain of three. Davis on the carry. 
There's a good shot of Bob Field, the defensive coordinator at UCLA. I think he's done a magnificent job this year with that UCLA defense. He played football himself at Arkansas and learned under Frank Broyles, and he's really brought that Arkansas-style defense here to UCLA. You know, Don Lindsay, SC's defensive coordinator, coached him for a year there. That's right. At Arkansas. Second down at the 32. High formation, Cook with a long count. Gives it again to his tailback. And again, he finds a hole and gets out to the 38 for a gain of six. Davis. Make it third down and about a yard to go as Tom Holland makes the stop. Here they are. Watch him come off the ball here. Great lead block by the fullback. Davis finds the crack. Makes some yard. Jeff Cobb, keep your head up, baby. One of the Bruins, it looks like it might be uh, Parker shaking up on the play. Is, could that be? Flanagan, excuse me. Flanagan, the center. Boy, I tell you, as an old quarterback, you never like to see your center get hurt. When they bring in that second-string guy, uh, you, you haven't spent much time with him since last spring practice. What they'll probably do is move uh, Nowitzki over there. He can play center, and they'll put McClure in or Senkin. I don't know which. Take another look at it. Now nah, he's bouncing up. Right there. Holland falls on the, the back of his leg. He's coming off. He looks like he's all right. And Nowitzki's coming on to be the center for the Bruins. I'll tell you, Nowitzki's going to go high in the draft, too, Tom. He's the kind of guy pro football teams look for. Oh. The guy got to play center, guard, tackle. Right. Yeah, he makes your problems in the offensive line minimal because he's uh, interchangeable. Very versatile player. At the 37-yard line. Third down, about a yard to go. Again, the tailback and a big opening as Hicks has got it and moves it for a first down to the Trojan 49-yard line. 13 yards on the carry, first and 10 SC, and the Trojan defense is just... Here it is again. Look at the look at the hole. USC is getting blocked. I'm telling you, that UCLA line is coming off the football, and they're just blocking man-to-man, -man. nothing fancy. They're not pulling anybody. It's man-to-man, -man and you run to daylight. The guy that moved the quickest in there, except for Hicks, was the umpire, who said, I'm getting out of the way. This guy's headed for... Who knows where? First down, Bruins just inside Trojan territory. Play action, Cook rolling, rolling, looking, throws, incomplete. But a Cook do a great job of just getting rid of that football. Tended receiver was Washington, second and 10 at the 49. 340, time remaining in this first half. 14 to nothing, UCLA. Two long drives. The Trojans had one spirited march that ended. Died of morning at the five-yard line. Second down. Good play action fake. Cook to throw it. Goes downfield. Incomplete. Had his man. And Wynn dropped it. Boy, Wynn ran a great route there. He really did. He faked towards the post, broke it out, and Cook put it right on the money. I hope we can see him here. Good play action pass by Wayne Cook. He sees him now and lets it fly. And he plain just drops the football. Then Salmon came in and said, take that back to the huddle with you. Third and 10 at the 49. Cook has now missed five in a row, and he's in the shotgun. back in there. There's the pass. Oh, my. He was intending that for Stokes. And by the time he threw it, Stokes had his back to him and turned, and the ball went whistling by harmlessly for the Trojans, if you will. Well, that's the new thing in college football, Tom, where the, the receiver reads the coverage, and so does the quarterback. And if you roll up on one side, I go inside. If you stay back, I go outside. And it has two people that have to make a decision. I don't believe it in myself. Schlager hits it, headed for the five, takes a bounce for the Bruins, down at the six-yard line. What a great kick. What a great kick. 43 yards, no return, and the kicking game you heard so much about this past week. Certainly an evidence for the Bruins. They have a magnificent kicker in Merton and a great putter in Schlager, and I mean, 
That thing hit better than a wedge. It Down did. at the six yard line, maybe the seven SC first and ten. Only hit and bit. You know, being a, a punt returner against a left-footed kicker is not the easiest thing in the world. You usually see right-footed punters, and the ball obviously rotates the other way. 3.23 remaining in the half. Deion Struther takes it out to the 11. It'll be second and six after a gain of four. And I, for one, would think the Trojans will do well to go into the halftime dressing room down no more than 14 points. They missed a golden opportunity when they drove to the three and were inches shy of a first down. Johnson to throw, dumps it over the middle to Deion Struther, and he's out to the 20, to the 16-yard line. A gain of five, it'll be third and one. Well, that's what you like to do when, they, when they're playing that two-deep zone defense and those linebackers are dropping. You dump the ball either to your tight end or your fullback. Flag on the play, apparently. Big pass, five yards against the defense. We'll the yardage first result, down. first down. First and 10 at the 21-yard line. One of these bands ought to play, it seems like, old times because this building has got 94,000 here. Sure does. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah. Johnson to throw. Gets a rush. Man, did he get nailed. Wow, Gallatin again. And just as he brought his arm forward, Gallatin lowered the boom. Well, what Gallatin's doing, he's showing Rob Johnson what looks to Rob Johnson as a zone defense, and then he comes late. See him come late at the bottom of your screen? Did they call that down there at that point? I thought the ball came loose when he threw it. They marked it back at the 15. Johnson dancing around. Going to be sacked again. Dropped at the 7 this time. Miller made that tackle. Jameer Miller. Well, you credit that one to the UCLA secondary. They were in zone defense and had all the USC receivers covered. Rob had to eat it. Third down and 23. Moment ago was first and 10 at the 21. Bruins are taking time out with a minute 54 on the halftime clock and leading 14 to nothing. And Johnson, who's had a brilliant season is just being harassed and beleaguered on every turn well, Rob Johnson's had one of those seasons that young quarterbacks dream about he's had a perfect season really even old quarterbacks dream <laughs> yeah, you're right speaking of old quarterbacks we had a bunch of former USC quarterbacks before the game and we had to hit a moving target at Johnny Morton and I was uh, five out of ten and they said it was better than my average when I played I heard it was kind of an inflated <laughs> five out of ten too they they thought anybody that would dare to come down had the audacity to come down and put that arm in display got just one for showing up <laughs> I don't know what Gallatin's major is but he should be a drama major the way he's acting he hides that safety blitz as good as anybody I've seen. You know, Kenny Easy at UCLA, the old All-American they had, he was probably one of the best I'd ever seen do it. Well, it has been a brewing afternoon, no question about it. They lead 14 to nothing and back the Trojans up to the SC 8-yard line. Just under two minutes to go in the half. Pass in the flat. Kirby on the flanker screen. Quick reaction by UCLA at about the 9-yard line for a gain of one. It'll be fourth and 22 at the nine. That was Gallatin again. He's all over the field. Player shaken up. Down for the Trojans. Looks like Herbie. Herbie got caught in. Uh, in the squeeze. Take another okay. look at it. It's the slip screen trying to get up underneath those linebackers as your linemen come downfield. He tries to get in behind him here. Gallatin grabs his leg and, oh, he gets a double back over on him.
minute 40 remaining in the half the Trojans will be forced to kick from deep within their territory Stonehouse who has kicked the ball well will be in the end zone kicking this one away you can see Jack Ward the trainer and his staff there you know you were talking Tom about like old times here how many times do you think Jack Ward's trotted out on this field to help a young guy out well he started here what 1960 1960 I think it's a testimony to clean living that Ward is able to get out on the field at all. Too. He has some great training habits. Stonehouse is standing in the end zone as Hervey goes off the field limping. Trailing tape. Adams stands at the Trojan 49. Stonehouse will be asked to continue his fine kicking. Bruins have got 10 men. They aren't coming with that big a rush. Stonehouse hits another high one. Fair catch at the 43-yard line. Adams with a fair catch at the 43. And UCLA, after a 34-yard kick and no return, will have a minute 25 remaining in this first half and the ball in great field position. Well, obviously, that was the reason that Coach Donahue called that timeout so that he, he could have a minute and 54 seconds to... Make one first down, he's in field goal range. A great crowd on hand for this one, and the weatherman came up, a fan of the city of Los Angeles when he turned out a day like this. He sure did. I can only remember rain one time in 1961, and the Bruins won that one. Notre Dame having a busy time of it with Boston College. Cook is back to throw with a lot of time. Threw it behind his intended receiver, Washington. Well, and he had J.J. Stokes open in the middle, too. Cook has missed seven in a row. Pleasure to have back in the booth uh, the Hall of Fame statistician Dennis Benicia out of the shotgun they hand it off to the tailback and breaking into the secondary is Davis what a good running back he runs right up to you then just steps away picks up extra yardage takes it to the 35 he really does Tom as you said he runs right up to you he neutralizes the tacklers watch, watch him here he gets right up as fast as he can to you and then makes his cut Third down and about a yard, maybe two. Davis has got 90 yards and 14 carries. Cook to throw. Over the middle, pass complete. At the 29-yard line to Allen, the tight end, who's caught about three of those now this afternoon. And a first down as the chains move, the clock stops. 48 seconds. Ball at the 29. Trojans trying to stave off another touchdown. Three points seems inevitable. They don't want to give up seven. Ball batted in the air by McGinnis. No, by Willie Lowry, the young freshman. It was a good job by Lowry, but when the quarterback takes that left hand off the football, you raise your hands, and he raised his and swatted it like a fly. It'll be second down at the Trojan 29. 37 seconds remain. Trojans better get some help over here for Seahorn. He's got two guys he's looking at. He's motioning. Now Micah Phillips comes over. Cook in the shotgun. Low snap, but he's got it. Looking. Throws down the middle. Almost intercepted. Oh, my. Mike Salmon had it go right through the two and the four, the middle of his jersey. Adams was there, the intended receiver. Here's Salmon playing free safety. He's just the center fielder there. He sees him break on the post, jumps in, and almost makes the play. Ball tipped away, and Salmon couldn't find the good hands that his brother Tim has. He's an outfielder. Third and ten, an MVP. Rookie of the year, I should say. And off to the second man through Hicks. He runs it, though. Right dead in the middle of the field at the 30-yard line, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see Merton come on with a fourth down. Kennelly was there to make the stop. Merton is limbering up on the sidelines. Line of scrimmage is the 30. 
Clock shows eight seconds. Donnie will probably take a timeout, send him out with no time left. There's the timeout. So he'll go out with four seconds, kick it, get it, or don't get it. The Trojans will have no opportunity to do anything with it. Well, Merton's really been successful this year. He's one of the leading field goal kickers in the country. And How about 18 of 20? His longest, 46. What he's looking at, conceivably, could be his longest of the year, depending on where they mark it down. They're looking at a 48-yarder, Dennis. All right. His longest is 46. Line of scrimmage is 30. Tack on 10, that's 40. And they're going to mark it down at the 37. It'll be a 47-yard try. Quick, Bruin fans, where's uh, Bjorn Merton from? Did you say Centerville, Virginia? Absolutely correct. You know, UCLA gets a lot of players. Terry spends most of his time in either Texas or Virginia. They, they have quite a few out of both states. Sixteen first downs to six. Such has been the dominance of the Bruins in this first half. <laughs> will hold it it'll be uh, I think pretty close to a 48 yard try right in the middle of the field it's down he hits it oh it's long enough it's good well he did get all of that one 17 to nothing Merton hit a beauty and the clock says the first half is over and the Bruins have dominated this football game two touchdowns and a field goal I'm marking it as 48, which would be even at 47, his best of the year. And the Bruins go to the dressing room up and breathing the smell of roses with 30 minutes to go. Second half about to get underway with um, a crowd of about 94,000 on hand as the Trojans are down 17 to nothing. One of the legendary names in USC football history. A man who went on to star for years with the New York Giants and has become a household figure and voice on Monday Night Football, among other things. Frank Gifford's in the booth with us. It's good to see you, Frank. Well, good to be back with you, Tom. A lot of years. Uh, enjoyed your work. Thank Hope you. Hope you enjoy ours. We we stay out of trouble if we, we try to win. Oh, indeed. I like the threesome. I've long been a fan of Al Michaels. I like Deardorff. I like everything you do in the booth. I liked it back when... Howard was there even <laughs> when Merton. Back then he won. <laughs> That's right. Well, I don't know that we covered football so well, but we, we made a lot of noise, and at least people knew where we were. <laughs> I've been doing that myself. Uh, not very much of a first half for your Cardinal and Gold. I think things will change a little bit. I mean, they they finally shut down that. Uh, it was kind of a counter with a lead back, and they finally shut that off a little bit. And uh, that they they were moving the ball. You know, six, eight, ten yards a pop on that, and they yeah. finally figured that one out. In fact, uh, as Craig and I were saying at halftime, the last three possessions resulted in only a field goal, if that's uh, any consolation. Trojans getting ready to kick off. A low line drive that uh, skips down at the 10 to the 5. Back up this side, cutting back to the middle and gaining some ground across the way to about the 16-yard line is Ayers. It'll be first down UCLA at that point. Frank, how's the whole 10 yards going? How's your book? Uh, really well. Uh, I'm kind of proud of it. Uh, I had an opportunity to write about growing up. It's really for my kids more than anything else because, in all honesty, they didn't know how I grew up. There's a lot of football, a lot of Monday night, uh, some interesting stuff about the USC days. But uh, You got anything in there about the <laughs> Bakersfield drillers? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, <laughs> quite a bit about it. That's what I wanted to write about and let my kids know that it wasn't always limousines and Learjets and Broadway. <laughs> you want to know what the final Notre Dame score was, Frank? Hold on. 39-38. No. Very the Boston close. College kick. Boston College won it. You know, I told Kathy I walked out of the booth a moment ago. There were a minute five seconds. It was 39-38. And I said, I said, don't give up yet. Of course, she has to live with Regis. Yes. And he's out there at the oh, game. Course. She said, I'm not going back to New York if they win. Pull this thing out. 41-39. And Regis something? thinks he invented the Golden Dome, you know. Okay, well, he's, he's been teed off ever since they put Soren's fair catch picture okay. up there instead of his. They might be spreading his ashes over the field right now. <laughs> The ball, <laughs> the ball is at the 17 yard line. Second down for the Bruins. They lead 17 to nothing. And Kirk is back in the shotgun. Hands off. And the Trojan defense stuffs the runner at the line of scrimmage. And there's a flag in the backfield. 
for the length of disposition of that. Well, wait a minute now. Did Kathy Lee incite you to write this book, or which one came first, hers or yours? <laughs> well, about two years ago, I, I told her I was thinking about writing a book. She said, what a great idea, so she wrote one. <laughs> and it became a bestseller. And then <laughs> when I finally finished mine, my book came out. Her uh, paperbacks came out in the market. <laughs> uh, she, she's like uh, living with the circus. And your family, the youngsters, are doing great, huh? Well, you mean uh, my 42-year-old, 30, 35, or <laughs> oh, my three-year-old, or my three-month-old? <laughs> talking about your baby. Oh, my, my little baby is the aunt of my five grandchildren. You, know, you got to get the thing straight here. <laughs> Frank's always been my idol. I guarantee he has. I'm my own idol. <laughs> A flag against the Bruins, and uh, they'll be a walk-off back inside the 10. 17 to nothing, UCLA trailing as we start this 41, third period. 41, 39. Did you that believe amazing? That's something? Frank, the lady next you to you. You know what that cost NBC? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, 50 million, maybe? That's right. A rematch between the Irish and the Seminoles. The lady to your left is from Shafter. I know, we were just discussing it. I used to sell fertilizer up there. <laughs> Chemical fertilizer, that is. <laughs> The ball is back at the eight-yard line. Out of the eye. They give it to the tailback, and there's a big opening as he sprints upfield with the 20, dropped at the 21, but he's up short of the first down. That's the same counterplay they were killing him with the first yep. time. I don't know what they were expecting. Maybe Cook to throw it deep. Robinson paces the sidelines. What you, what's Monday night's game? Where are you? Uh, San Francisco, New Orleans, a beauty up in uh, San Francisco. They're both tied for the division lead, so it's going to be a real duel up there. That's the same thing they've been running throughout the entire first half. They'll run that a couple times. They'll come back and play action, hook up deep, and uh, SC can't stop it. Davis has had a big afternoon. He took a pretty good shot there. Third down now at the 20, and about six or seven to go. Time for the Trojan defense to stand up and be counted, and Cook's back to throw. Comes over the middle, incomplete. Cook is not having a good time throwing the ball of late. Oh, that's good coverage there, Tom. Uh, he just drilled that, tried to squeeze that in there, but that was good coverage. He has made one completion out of the yeah. last 10 throws, Frank. One more comment. I'm going to send you a bill here. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing color. I'd like to have you pick that, uh, uh, a picture with you, Frank. And would you sign the books for yes, us? Sir. And uh, we wish you the very best of life, you and uh, Kathy and all of the children. <laughs> it couldn't be better now. Did you get it? I think I'd do it again. Well, it's probably because uh, we're doing uh, the play going on down the field. Seahorn takes it on a fair catch at the Trojan 43-yard line. 37-yard um, kick. Right, take a look at this and see if you remember this. The thundering herd. That's George Bozanic on the block. Who's now the we're guy well with the ball? Front. Against California in 1951, we were down 14 to nothing. This is the first uh, play in the second half. I went 69 yards for a touchdown. No. I didn't make it. I was at that game, Frank. Oh, boy, that was a great game, wasn't it? Yeah. That was another play, but that was that game, though. So Turn that around and look this time. way. Your, your play is over on the monitor. Everybody wants their picture taken with you. I like it. Don't any of these things work? I think you'd be shooting into the sun. I probably would take the picture. Frank, you mentioned uh, George Bosnick. They had all the old quarterbacks out here this morning. Was he here? Yeah, he hit Left eight, yeah. eight out of ten. Is that right? Not bad for an old blocking back. You know, I'm looking for those guys. Uh, the uh, who all who all showed uh, up? Dean Snyder. Threw. Were, you, were you throwing? Yeah. Oh, good. He came back in and said he made five out of ten, and I said they gave him two just for showing up. <laughs> I did. My arm was drop off. I would qualify as a tailback, wouldn't I? I should have yes. got in there. <laughs> Trojans will take over on their own 43-yard line. What did you tell me when we talked with you on Trojan Video Gold? You had a magnificent game in the East-West All-Star Shrine game and a great game back at Yankee Stadium, yeah. and the Giants jumped all over you. Yeah, season of 51, we went back and played Army, and uh, I played in a blizzard. And of course, we had those nylon jerseys. The guys from California we were freezing, and... Uh, I had a good game against Army, about 150 rushing, and uh, caught several. And Wellington Mara, who was the owner of the Giants, his family, scouted that game. And then he came out to scout the East-West game. And uh, for some reason, we had a coach we won't get into. Uh, well, we might as well Jess Neely. I mean, he was kind of a, a redneck from Texas. And he didn't believe that McElhaney could play. And so he didn't play him on offense. And I played offense and defense. Had a pretty good game. And he scouted that game also. And so they made me the number one draft pick. And the rest, as they say, is history. Well, it's an interesting story. 
The ball at the 43-yard line. The Trojans have it. Third quarter, down 17 to nothing. The handoff on the delay to Walters. Dancing around, makes something out of nothing as he takes it off to the 48 and a gain of six. It'll be second and four for the Trojans at their 48-yard line. Here's another look at it. He's trying to bounce it to the outside. It's the old off-tackle play. He's trying to break it outside. Jameer Miller takes the outside away from him. Now watch him turn back inside, square his shoulders away, and good hard running. This is a, a very nice kid, this uh, Sean Walters out of Texas. Arlington, is he the freshman? Yeah, he's, yes. a, he's a load, too, yeah. Frank. He's a I was watching, 21. Long downfield, he's got Grace. Grace at the five. Come on, baby. Get there. To the one-yard line. Grace on the bomb is just a yard short of the end zone. It'll be first and goal, 52 yards, as Johnson connects. And the crowd wearing the uh, cardinal and gold has something to cheer about. Well, I talked to Dennis Thurman at halftime, the secondary coach at SC, and I said, what did Coach Robinson say? He said, we're going to get after him. And they're doing it right now on a post pattern to Kenny Grace. Yeah, Craig, he had time to throw the ball, too. He they sure were all did. over him in the first half. Frank, this kid is from uh, De Anza High in Richmond and never played football in high school. He came down here out of Contra Costa, J.C. Got him cheap, then, huh? Yeah. First and goal at the one. They give to Walters. He's into the end zone. Well, this is and what the they Trojans are on the board. Well, they should have been on the board twice. This should be a 17-14 you know, game right now. Right. 17-6, to six, and now the extra point. The Trojans have made a habit of coming back in the second half. They outplayed, though they did not beat Penn State. They outmuscled Notre Dame, of course, did not beat the Irish. They came from a 14-10 deficit a week ago in Seattle and beat the Huskies. So they have been a second-half team. We'll see how it holds up here today. Try for the extra point by Ford is up, and it's good. It is 17-7 with 11.55 remaining in the third quarter. There's a lot of time left. We'll be back after this. So the Trojans are on the board, 17 to 7. The kickoff is into the end zone, bobbled, and out the back end. And it'll come to the 20 yard line. I'd say Cole Ford as well. He really hit that one. Three plays, 57 yards, the highlight being a 52-yard toss to that man right there, Grace, Kenny Grace. 17 to seven, the Trojans are back in it. Now the defense is gonna have to stymie the Bruins once again. Cook at his own 20-yard line. Pass out in the flat. It is caught and nailed almost in his tracks by Seahorn was Jordan. Well, Jason Seahorn was very, very close to intercepting one right there. Indeed. It's just a quick hitch pass, Indeed. and he really closes on it right here. Three-step drop, throw it to the outside, and he is right there. Or is that Frank Gifford a nice man or what? I wish he'd have stayed because maybe he brought some of that magic back. <laughs> They went right down the field. He's a real credit to football. Yeah, he's a good guy. Out of the shotgun. Boy, the crowd is now setting up a din and cry. The give, trying to go outside, looking for room to go and nowhere to go is Hicks. Willie McGinnis. He's drilled for a loss at the 21. Willie McGinnis is the man that made that play. He did not make the tackle, but he sure forced him deep to wait for the rest of the Cardinal shirts. Back to the 22, making it third and eight at that point. Here it is, UCLA sweep out, out of the, their spread offense. See Willie forcing deep, and then here comes the rest of the good guys. Into the game comes Wynn, number 81, and Davis, number 31. Trojan Wooters in the stands, alive now and screaming. Third down. Back to pass is Cook. Throws it out in the flat. Incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for Davis. Boy, that was a well-thrown ball, a well-run play. Davis just never hung on. A great, great pass. It was a well-thought-out play, too, where you try to isolate your, your running back on a linebacker. Here it is. He's running a flat-and-go route. 
In a perfect spot. Right in the hand. Oh, my. Oh, my. Kicking situation. Shager back to punt. Seahorn at the Trojan 36. SC puts on a rush. He gets it away, and it's a beauty. Seahorn at the 37. Up the middle. Midfield and over to the Bruins side at the 48-49. 41 yards, 14 on the return. Tackle for UCLA by Philip Ward. It'll be first down SC at the Bruin 49-yard line, 17 to 7. That'll make Jason's mother happy. I know it makes him happy. Johnson at the Bruin 49. Going to be an encroachment on UCLA. I guess they didn't touch anybody, so it's just offside. What's the nose man? Is when they come across and hit you. What's the nose man right here? Yeah. That, that, that drives oh, you crazy as him. a football coach. He hit him. That drives you nuts. That ball is right in front of you. You've you got to block everything out. Just look at the football. Forget the sounds. First and five at the 44 for SC. Johnson to pass. Over the middle, too high for Dion Struther. Again, he had Grace streaking on a post wide open. Right, they were trying to work under the linebackers because of that zone defense, and uh, they hurried Rob a little bit. He threw it a little early. Robinson on the sidelines. Bucking to Riley, his offensive coordinator. Second and five at the Bruin 44. Johnson getting a rush. Sacked at the 48-yard line. Werner, Matt Werner in on top of him. Well, you know, when SC hit the 52-yarder for a touchdown, they gave him great protection. These last two pass attempts, he's not getting any time to throw the football. Watch UCLA's pass rush here. A little twist stun up front. Here comes Werner hard to the inside. It's going to bring up third down and nine at the 48. And Robinson and company. This is a big down for USC, Tom. They got the momentum in the crowd going. Third and nine, the Bruins, they've been showing them that safety blitz. Let's see if they do it again. Ball at the 48. Johnson gets a rush, fires it. Incomplete. Knocked away. Good defensive play by Colbert. So the Trojans, unable to convert a good defensive effort into anything point-wise, now find themselves at the Bruin 48 and kicking it. Excellent defensive play. Bruins really don't have anybody back. Now Adams is going back as the safety. <clears throat> kind of a late arrival. Stonehouse steps into it and hits it. Fair catch. Bobble, Trojans recover. Bobble by Adams at the 11, and SC will have it first and 10. Small was down there to fall on that football. Here it is, fair catch. Loses his concentration a little bit, drops it, and here comes Small. I'll tell you, SC-UCLA games, Tom, you never know what's going to happen. Indeed you don't. I sat here a generation, no, maybe two and a half generations ago, with 3.20 to go and saw Beban destroy the Trojans. I remember that one. The pitch to Walters on the sweep. Oh, what a great block. Inside the 10 to about the 9. Oh, McWilliams. Second and 8 at the 9-yard line. McWilliams just made an outstanding block on Edwards. Ooh, did he hit him. There's Small, the man who recovered the fumble. Everybody will stand around him. That gets your picture taken. He's a secondary coach, Keith Burns. Boy, he's congratulating him. Second down and eight on the nine-yard line. Johnson. Pass 
batted down at the line of scrimmage. Third and eight at the nine. The Trojans had a third down at the four. Came up with an offside. That made it third down. They got to the five. It made it fourth down. They failed in their other previous attempt down inside that, quote, red zone. Third down and eight at the Bruin nine-yard line. 17 to 7, UCLA leads. SC trying to claw its way back into this football game. Johnson to throw over the middle, complete into the end zone. Mick Williams. You can credit that one to Rob Johnson right there, Tom. They had a safety blitz. He read it and he hit it. For Johnson, that is his first of the year and his 25th of the season. For McWilliams, that is his third touchdown catch of the year. So after the fumble recovery, SC puts it in the end zone. Now the try by Ford to make it a three-point game. Down, up, good. 17-14 with 8.23 remaining in the third quarter. And the Trojans, as they've been doing most of this season, have roared back in this third period. Thanks to Johnson and company, it's a 17-14 game. At home base, you know our everyday low prices are low. Well, this week they're going even lower. You'll save with base buys throughout the store. So whatever your project is, hurry in today. Go to the base, home base, where prices aren't just low, they're lower. At home base, you know our everyday low prices are low. Well, this week they're going even lower. You'll save with base buys throughout the store. So whatever your project is, hurry in today. Go to the base, home base, where prices aren't just low, they're lower. Having your car stolen can be a real blow. You work hard for these things. That's why Farmers Insurance is all about getting things back to the way they once were. From the way policies are written to the way claims are handled, everything we do is about getting you back behind the wheel. It's what we think auto insurance should be about. Let's face it, if somebody really wants your car, they're going to get it. But with Farmers, we can at least help get you back where you belong. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. 17 to 14, the Bruin lead is down to three. Cole Ford to kick off. Hits it high and deep. It's coming to Gilbert. Make it Colbert, I should say. The far side cuts back. Nice return over the 30 out to about the 33. Andy Colbert runs it out. Good field position for the Bruins. And we take another look at the Trojan toss from Johnson to McWilliams for the score. Watch Gallatin, 26, a safety blitz. Rob Johnson reads it, hits McWilliams on the post pattern. Great job by the quarterback. Better mark at the Bruin, 34, first and 10. There's a good shot of McWilliams. He, he's going to be a fine, fine player for he's done here. Davis and Milliner in the backfield for UCLA. They give the ball to Davis, finds an opening outside, slips a tackle, finally Mike Salmon knocks him down at the 46-yard line. Big gaping hole on the left side and all kinds of room to run for Davis. UCLA calls that their windback play. They, they lead with their fullback man blocking up front, and he just runs the daylight, and he took it back to the weak side that time. It's first and 10 at the 46, a gain of 12 on the play. Reggie Perry comes out of the Trojan defensive set. Davis again a tailback. Back to throw is Cook. Fires it in the flat incomplete. Tried to get it out to win. I tell you, Brian Williams put a real rush on Cook. He forced him to throw it before he wanted to. It's amazing what a good quarterback can do to you if he gets time. Uh, the thing you want to always do is obviously try to get to it. Cook is 10 of 24, two for his last 14. Washington is in along with Davis. 
Give it to the tailback, and again, a big hole, and he carries the ball over the 45 and down to about the 44, which is going to make him just shy of the first down. Third and one at the Trojan 44. Oldest play in football, the off-tackle play. Kick out with a fullback, pull your off guard, and double down. Look at that surge by the strong side of the UCLA line. They're just flat blocking the Trojans. Parker is down and shaken up for UCLA. Now, what could possibly injure Parker? He is 6'4 and over 300 pounds. That will really hurt UCLA if Vaughn Parker goes out. He, at the end of this season, he'll obviously be an All-American. See Coach Donahue there talking to his quarterback, Coach Rick Neuheisel. The ball is at the Trojan 44, making it a third and one. The SC defense, which has been tough now, ever since midway in that second period, they've given up three points, and they, in the third period here, have stuffed the Bruins. Yet now they're faced with a third and one and obviously a big play situation. Magnificent crowd here, 94,000 plus, boy. And the weatherman loves L.A. What a beautiful day. Blue sky, wispy white clouds. You can see forever. Santa Monica Mountains, the Hollywood Hills. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Well, they straightened out that Hollywood sign up there, Tom. Did you see it early in the week? It said, Go Bruins. Did it really? Yes. Third down in the yard to go at the Trojan 44. Cook to his tailback. Oh, big hole into the secondary. Down he goes. Just about lost the ball. Hicks takes it inside the 35 to the 32. Well, the UCLA offense is answering the challenge right now. The momentum was in USC's favor, and the Bruins are, again, blocking him. Watch the surge by their offensive line, and he runs to daylight. Boy, the ball very nearly came loose. Mark it at the 33. 17-14, SC trailing UCLA. The Bruins on a very big drive. Started on their own 33-yard line. Cook rolling, looking, looking, going to run it. And back inside, and down he goes at about the 32. A gain of maybe a yard. It'll be second and nine. Boy, he got kissed. He came out on a naked boot. He was trying to hit his tight end, Allen, who was covered by the linebacker, Jeff Cock. I tell you, he ran into Ogden, who is 6'8 and 315. At least that's what the scale said down at the feed store when they <laughs> weighed, weighed him. <laughs> they are big. Second and nine. 622 to go in the third. 17-14 UCLA. And the Bruins on a march. Trojan show blitz up the middle and being dropped as he gets inside the 30 is Davis dropped at the 29. That'll make it third and six at the 29. Boy, you're right. USC brought both their inside linebackers and they gave it away just a little bit early. UCLA didn't quite pick it up. Here it is. Uh, you can see they're trying to run off tackle. Anytime you go to a gap eight defense, you try to take the ball from the tackle to the outside. That's a good hit by Reggie Parrott. How about that for a quarterback making a stick like that? Washington comes out. Allen, the tight end, is in. Cook in the shotgun. Third down. Over the middle, pass complete. But I don't think he made the first down. It's going to be at the 24. Pass caught by Stokes. It'll be fourth and one at the 24. It's going to be awfully close. They aren't even going to measure well, the old Trojans uh, came after him with both outside backers, both inside backers, and Cook picked it up. Now we'll see what everybody's made of right here. Washington comes in. Jordan comes in. Richards comes in. Allen comes out. The Trojans send in three new bodies. Fourth down and just about a yard. SC with a timeout. Good thing they called it. They had 12 men in the field. 17-14, Bruins lead and driving. We'll be back in the third quarter. First, we'll pause for this.
Your car's fuel injectors work like this when they're clean. But when they're clogged and dirty, all you get is a trickle of power that can make your car really run rough and sound out of tune. Pour in Berryman B12 Chem Tool. No expensive tune-up, no dirty hands, just maximum mileage, faster starts, out of sight performance. And all for about the price of a bottle of shampoo. Berryman B12 Chem Tool. It just may be the only tool you need for out of sight performance. <laughs> It's another powerhouse season for the big blue wrecking crew with the young guns from the Dodgers International House of Pitchers firing their way toward a league-leading ERA. Plus, the National League's last five rookies of the year. Can they make it six in a row? Where you wanna go for the show? Dodgers baseball rocks on Fox Sports West 2. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Now back with a fourth down and about a yard to go. They give it to the tailback. He's got the first down at the 21-yard line. Well, again, credit the UCLA offensive line for that. You know that 65 game? That was my first year coaching, and I almost quit coaching after that. That was such a disappointing loss. And that man was playing defensive tackle for UCLA. Can you imagine Ron Erie blocking him? Bruins keep the drive alive with a first and 10 at the Trojan 21. 17-14, SC with two third period scores. Cook back to pass. They haven't sacked him yet. Throws it behind the intended receiver, Win. Well, I'll tell you who made that play was Jeff Cobb, the linebacker. He got right in Wynn Cook's line of sight and made him throw the ball a little behind Win. Jordan comes on for the Bruins as you look at it again. See Cop getting depth to your right here. Forces him to throw the ball. Guy got a hand on Good job, Jeff Cop. Second and 10 at the 21. 420 to go. Third period. 17-14 UCLA. Up the middle again goes Hicks. Little counter play. Salmon makes the stop. Hicks runs it down to the 15. It'll be third and about six at the 15-yard line. Defensively, in the second half of the last 10, SC's allowed only one touchdown. Third and six. Big play time for the defense. Cook in the shotgun. Back to throw, has time, throws it incomplete at the 10-yard line. Allen, the tight end, muffed it, dropped it. It'll be fourth down, and in comes Burton to see about what I guess is automatic, the field goal. From this range, it'll be a 33-yarder. There it is. He's just trying to hit his tight end in the flat. He throws a perfect strike, and Allen just plain drops the football. He had enough yardage for the first down. Work to see about the try for three. Long count. The snap. He hits it. And it is no good. No good. Now he had hit 19 out of a total of 21. And so that is only the third field goal he has missed this year. So the Trojan defense, remember they've not given up a touchdown in the second half of the last 10 games. Off the field limping is Willie McGinnis. But if the Trojan offense can get itself on track, why Willie won't be needed for a while. First down at the 20 yard line. SC has scored twice in this third period. Narrowed the gap to 17-14. Back to pass, Johnson. Punts. Gets buried. Well, they were going to try to go deep there to Johnny Morton on an out-and-up pattern. and uh, George Case was there to make the stop. 
the note. Uh, you know what irritates me? What's that? Just to see a quarterback get knocked down. That's the sixth time he's been sacked. And about four of his fellows standing around watching him get knocked down. Look at all those people standing up there. That was George Case, the nose man. Pollock was standing up. There were all kinds of people who obviously didn't pick up the guy they should have. Second down at the 13. That's going to make it second and 17. Johnson needs a big play here. Back to throw. Pumps it out in the flat. Compete to Grace. Grace stiff arms a guy and is carried out of bounds at the 20. Lawrence, the defender for UCLA. Seven yard pickup, making it third and 10 back at the 20 yard line. If you give Rob Johnson enough time, he's like a surgeon, boy. He'll cut you up. That's Banda, number 82, a senior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, who may have a long pro career, not only as a tight end, but a long snapper. Johnson, the throw. Sets, gets hit, dropped again. Baselli let his man go right around him and get Johnson. Pollock got beat also. Well, remember, I hate to keep harping on this, but I said that at the beginning, the offensive lines for both these schools would be the key to this football game. You can see Rob, he's trying to run a crossing pattern here, and I don't know how many seconds of a last, but he didn't have enough time to even think about where he was going to throw the football. Jameer Miller just brushed Baselli aside and threw Johnson to the turf. Stonehouse has kicked the ball beautifully and hits another high, deep spiral coming down to the 32-yard line. Trying to come outside, and he's got the wall of blockers down the sidelines. Out of bounds. Well, I'll tell you, Stonehouse Adams, put a lick on him. But I tell you, Adams put a lick on the whole team with a 33-yard return of a 57-yard punt. Here's a good shot. They're setting their wall up here to the right. The Bruins pick off the Katane man right there. Here's another shot right there. But watch old Stonehouse. This is not in his scholarship or job description. That's a good hit by a little old punter. The Bruins have magnificent field position at the 36-yard line. First down, UCLA. Again, the Trojan defense just on the field, right back at it again. Second man gets to the 30 and maybe just inside. Tackle made by Kopp. Davis, the ball carrier. Make it second and about four at the 30 yard line. Davis has got 130 yards and 19 carries. Jordan and Adams wide to the left. Stokes to the right. Cook explaining the play to his running backs. Hands off inside and with room to run. Inside the 20 to the 19 is Davis. Well, that was a good job by Wayne Cook uh, there, Tommy. He had a slot to the right side of the field. SC removed one of their linebackers, so essentially there's three people on two, and that leaves the draw play wide open, and that's what they ran. At the 20, first and 10, UCLA. They lead 17-14 with a minute nine remaining in the third. SC's defense going to have to answer the call again. And off, straight ahead, Hicks. Dropped after a couple at the 17-yard line. Out of the pile, comp again. Reggie Perry comes into the Trojans' secondary. They bring an extra DB in there. Small goes out. Excuse me, Williams goes out. Trojans are thinking pass. This is their nickel or robber defense. Out of the shotgun, Cook. Play action, Cook to throw, lobs it down. It is caught. Touchdown in the end zone. The man who gets it is Stokes. Great defense by the Trojans. They just couldn't knock it away. And the Bruins finally get a touchdown here in the third with 17 seconds left. Well, that was an excellent throw by Wayne Cook. I'll tell you, he threw it about the only spot he had. Uh, 
Jason Seahorn was there. So was Reggie Perry. But that man right there, you're looking at another number one draft choice. Here it is, a corner route by Stokes. He takes it to the inside, breaks it back out. Reggie breaks on the ball and just doesn't quite get there. So the Trojans will be down by 10 at 24-14 as Merton gets set for the PAT. It's good. 24-14. The Bruins go 36 yards after a great punt return by Adams. And now, with 17 seconds left in the third quarter, the Bruins are on top by 10. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Mike Piazza. As a baseball player, and especially a catcher, I know all about the importance of helmet safety. Every year in America, 400,000 kids are treated for bicycle-related injuries in emergency rooms like this one at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Please, don't let your child be one of them. Make sure when you and your kids are out there riding bikes that you all are wearing an approved bicycle helmet. If you're 18 or younger, it's the law. I know I'm not who you're expecting, but I am Michael Jordan chairman of the board of the college fund. By keeping tuition costs down, bright, deserving kids get a shot at going to college. Because let's face it, no matter how gifted you are, we all could use a little help. Please support the college fund. Mine is a terrible thing to waste. Want to go one-on-one? -on -one? You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. So Merton will kick off as the Bruins lead 24 to 14. Dotson and Grace are the two deep men as Merton hits the ball and hits it well. Grace at the one to the 10. Has a man to beat trying to turn the corner at the 20. Pull down. Great defense by Gallatin. Grace, I thought, might outrun him, but Gallatin would have none of that. And he dragged Kenny Grace down at about the 28-yard line. Boy, Gallatin showed me something there, Tom. When you can run him down from the back, he's the contain guy. Watch him come to the left side of your screen right here. He's a contain. You can't let anybody outside. He's whoops. He's got the outside, but I'll catch him anyway. That's darn good speed by old 2-6 Gallatin. He's out of Torrance, California, senior. I think he played for Joe Austin, a former SC tight end down there. Johnson. Looking to throw, fires it out in the flat, tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Tended for Morton, second and 10 at the 28. The last two times the Trojans have had the ball, they've, uh, well, three of the last, uh, two of the last three times, they've come up dead empty. Ball at their 28-yard line, a second down and 10. Five seconds remain in the third period. Play action fake. Over the middle. Pass complete at the 43-yard line. First down, USC. Tight end, Banta. 15 a, yards. That was a great job by Rob Johnson. UCLA's in a two-deep zone where there are two safety men who are split in the field. Where you want to hit that is right in the middle. And he waited, waited, and he caught Brad Banta. That's the end of three periods of play. It's another one of those backyard brawls, and the Bruins have the advantage by 10. We'll be back. You see the weapon. Suspect is firing it A off. dangerous suspect tries to escape, and a deadly game of cat and mouse begins. Suspect running west. These are dangerous pursuits. Now, for the first time, Keen World Direct and Sky Action Video bring you this dramatic footage of real-life high-speed chases as they're seen from the sky above. Dangerous Pursuits is available only through this special television offer. Dangerous Pursuits will keep you on the edge of your seat. Satisfaction guaranteed. Call this toll-free number now to get Dangerous Pursuits for just $19.95. Order now with your credit card, and you'll also receive Dangerous Rescues absolutely free. That's right. Both adrenaline-popping programs are yours for only $19.95. This incredible television offer is not available in stores, so call now. For rush delivery, get your credit card ready and call 1-800-542-3553. That's 1-800-542-3553, or send your check or money order to the address on your screen. Call now. 
You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Fourth quarter starts with the ball on the Trojan 43-yard line. Rob Johnson is 13 of 22 for 172 yards and a touchdown toss to McWilliams. UCLA, on the other hand, in the fourth quarter, they're 6-0 and when ahead after three periods of play. Got to get Gifford back in the booth, I, do you think? I think we better. Trojans have it nosed up to their own 44-yard line with a first and 10. Good field position after that 15-yard uh, uh, grab by Brad Bata, the tight end. There was a shot of Cook talking to his guru upstairs here, Homer Smith. USC has a minus five yards rushing. The Bruins, 227 yards on the ground. Again, that goes back to your offensive line. First down. Johnson to throw. Out in the flat, complete to Bata, who drives the defender with him as he gets up very close to the Bruin 46. It'll be just shy of the first down or maybe just enough. We'll wait and see where they mark it. We're going to heel and tow it just outside the 46-yard line, but that might be enough for the first down. That was a great read by Rob Johnson and a real good job by the USC offensive line to give him time to find Banna coming on a crossing route. Second and inches at the 46. Trojans trail by 10. The pitch. Sean Walters comes back inside and takes it to the 43 for the first down. Jasper's there to make the stop. That was an excellent block by Tyler Cashman to spring him loose for the first down. Or it is a, you can't see Tyler. He's right at the top of your screen. He closes down on the outside backer, Jamal Miller. Tyler Cashman, the son of Pat Cashman. Have we sent him our bill yet for telling all about that game with O.J. Simpson and the interception and uh, I think he bought us a Coke the other night at the LC football alumni dinner, didn't he? bought you a Coke, but he <laughs> can't get me for no Coca-Cola. Back to pass Johnson. Out in the flat to Walters. At the 40, needs a block. He's got it down the sidelines. He is thrown out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Boy, what a catch he made. I hope we can see that again. I think he caught that left-handed with one hand. 28 yards, a beautiful catch by Walters. They're going to mark him out. Well, at the 18-yard line, it'll be first and 10 at the 18. Boy, he did catch it with one hand. Says, hey, you go block him. I'll take care of the rest of this stuff. Well, I tell you, Goodwin closed on him. That's an awful good secondary the Bruins oh, have. They good. are quick and talented. Goodwin is a good one, isn't he? First down at the Bruin 18-yard line. Johnson looking again over the middle. Got his man at the 6-yard line. Fumbled, recovered. Cashman had it. It's going to be marked at the six, 12 yards, and a first and goal, USC. Well, credit that USC offensive line. I tell you, they're protecting him now. Give him time. He'll pick you to pieces like he's going to show you right here. Then a double crossing route. One person short, one deep. All you have to do is read the linebacker and decide which way he's going to go. You throw it the other way. Morton was the man who caught it. The Trojans threatening again. They've been down there three times. They've come away with touchdowns on two occasions. Johnson looking, rolling, running, stops, throws. Oh, my. Threw it about 15 feet in the air, and not even Deion Struther could pull that down. Second and goal on the six. Well, if he couldn't complete it, he threw it in a great spot. Get it out of this field of play. 13:40 is the time remaining in this football game. Bruins are thinking fast now. They just brought three defensive backs in and took out three linebackers. SC started this drive on their own 28. They've outscored opponents by a big margin in the second half. They're going to have to do it again if they want to go to the Rose Bowl. Johnson to the 10, looking, throws, end zone, touchdown, USC, Brad Bennett. Well, that was a, a great job by Rob Johnson to be able to find him that late into the pattern. For Banda, that is his first of the day and his second of the year. 
for Johnson, his second of the day and his 26th of the year. See, Rob actually wanted to come out here to Kenny Grace. Now he looks for Johnny Morton and drags his tight end across the middle, and Brad Banner makes a great catch. I like to see nice things happen to nice young men like him. 24. The try for the extra point is good. It is 24 to 21. UCLA ahead with 13-33 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Trojans go 72 yards and culminate it with that toss. We'll be back. The road looks level, but your car suddenly strains like it's going uphill. Could be your transmission slipping. This is problem a mountain or a molehill. Stay cool. The expert technicians at Amco Centers have state-of-the-art diagnostic tools to straighten things out. And half the cars serviced by Amco Centers don't need a new transmission. So if your car feels like it's going uphill, bring it to someone who's on the level. Amco, double A, MCO. Go classic with the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Next week, flashback to 1995, when UCLA had some tricks up their sleeves for the Trojans. Classic football, next Sunday at 7 on Fox Sports West 2. The later it gets, the better it gets. Bad you look. Tom Skerritt stars in Picket Fences. Then it's the show that changed television forever, Miami Vice. Next, it's a double dose of comedy. Two snaps up. FX Late Night, every night starting at 11, 10 Central. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Trojans in eight plays go 72 yards. Ayers back as one of the two return men, along with Andy Colbert for the Bruins. 21-24 with 13-33 to go. Kickoff is a low bouncer taken across on the far side by Ayers coming across field looking for a place to go stopped and is thrown out of bounds at about the 18 yard line. Great coverage by Terry Barnum. Terry. A reserve defensive back. He did exactly like the old coach taught him. Stay outside. Don't let anybody run around him. Force him back inside. Now let's see what Wayne Cook's got cooking. There's old Traveler. Yeah, I think he misses the old track. He's probably the only, only guy in this whole stadium town that misses that track. First down at the 19. The tailback is Davis. Washington the up back. Cook has done a masterful job of quarterback. Gives it to his tailback, and he squirms over the 20 to the 21. Davis. and uh, Kennelly are there to make the stop. Adams checks in. 12.59 remaining. Cook is 12 of 28 for 107 yards. Has not been intercepted. Straightens to throw. Pass out in the flat. That's to Stokes, who is wrapped up by Herpin and company, with a lot of help coming with Micah Phillips over there and Cunningham. Well, Johnny Herpin really closed on him there. I, I'll tell you, you got to play off this guy just a little bit. So Herpin gave him a little cushion, but when the ball was in the air, he really closed on J.J. Stokes. It'll be third down at the 27, third and six for UCLA. Trojan fans on their feet, hoping the defense could turn Cook aside. Cook to throw, dumps it off, pass complete. A beautiful deep Phillips. play by Micah Phillips. Nails Washington, knocks him stone cold flat. Back at the 27 yard line, no gain, fourth down, and here comes the kicker. Well, the Bruins were trying to guess the Trojans there. Fake the off-tackle play. Run a boot outside here. Watch this hit. Right there. Back to Pot is Shager. Seahorn standing at the Trojan 30. Shager's one of the best. The left-footed kicker steps into it. 
drills it beautifully down this left side. Seahorn takes it at the 25. Needs help, can't find it. Going to be dropped at about the 29-yard line. 47 yards, three on the return. And the Trojans will have it back at their 29-yard line with a first and 10. Well, it's great coverage by UCLA. Indeed, indeed. Well, the Trojan defense that looked as though it had taken the first half off has very much been in evidence in the second half of play. Well, they sure have. All right, we'll take a break. 24-21, Bruins lead by three with 11.25 to go, and we'll be back after this. What lower round draft pick just might stun the NBA by becoming his team's leading rebounder this year? The Sporting News knows. Do you? What hot goalie will dominate NHL offenses to power his team to a great season? The Sporting News knows. Do you? What surprising rookie sensation could send his team soaring into the Super Bowl? The Sporting News knows, and you can too, when you call now to claim your no-cost, four-issue Sporting News mini-subscription. Plus, reserve these great sports binoculars free. When it comes to the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NHL, nobody keeps you in the know quite like the Sporting News. What GM's blockbuster trades will turn his pretenders into pennant contenders next season? The Sporting News knows, and now you will too. Call now for your no-cost four-issue Sporting News mini-subscription. If you like it, get 24 more issues, 28 in all, for four easy payments of just $4.99. Plus, get these great binoculars free with your paid subscription. Call now. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. 21, the Bruins lead. The Trojans have the ball on their own 29-yard line. As Robinson says, let's get going. If the Trojans tie this game, they will go to the Rose Bowl with a record in the conference of 6-1-1. One, and one. If they win, they will be 7-1 and one and go. No. Flag. Garrido. The right tackle, Garrido moved. Well, that's the second time that uh, Norberto is uh, on the offense. First and 15. Boy, nothing kills you like that as a coach. Now your strategy changes. You got first and 15. And People talk to we will in a bit if it comes down to that about the kicking game and how it affects these two teams. Johnson with a first and 15, flips it behind him to Sean Waters, who was tripped up on a great defensive play by Edwards, back at about the 20-yard line. What a great play. Second and 19 now at the 20. Donnie Edwards really did make a good play there. You know, as an open field tackler, you've got to tackle the best runner on the opposing team, and he's got all that space to run. You nail him like this. That's an excellent move. Second down and 19. At the 20. Walters in motion. Screen pass is tipped. They tried to get it to Deion Struther. I don't know if Jameer Miller tipped it or not, but he was taking most of the credit for it. Yeah, I believe he did. I believe he got a hand on it. They had something to work with there. If he didn't get his hand up, they had some room to work. Trojans haven't gone to Deion Struther much today. He was a big factor in the game against Washington. Yeah, see, that's Deion's fault. He's got to stop him, stop his penetration, and then act like you're getting beat, and then slide into your screen move. Third down, and 19 at the 20. The Bruins with a three-point lead. The Trojans trying to get off the deck. Johnson runs. Got back to the original line of scrimmage or thereabouts, and that's a fourth down and kicking situation. We've got to credit the UCLA secondary. They had it covered all the way. Well, you can see him. He's got no place to throw the football. They're playing eight men deep, rushing three. He brings it down and tries to get what he can get. Now put the ball away, Rob. Ten minutes remain as Stonehouse, who has kicked beautifully, goes back to do it again. Adams, who had a brilliant return a few moments ago. Yeah, he got that one, too. 
signals for the fair catch at the 27-yard line. It'll be first and 10 at the 27 after a 44-yard kick and no return. Great job by Stonehouse last week and today. Bruins lead by three. We'll be back after this. Who are you? See more smoke. Smoke detector. <laughs> and I see more smoke coming from that toaster. <gasps> Thanks for warning us, Seymour. I hate smoke. <laughs> so whenever I see it, I make this noise to warn you. Because <laughs> where there's smoke, there may be fire. Be cool about fire safety. Be cool. There are so many obstacles in the way, and there's always an excuse to quit. It's too hard, too much pressure. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but I was determined to succeed. If it wasn't basketball, it would be something else. I wanted to do something with my life. And let's face it, if you don't have your high school diploma, you don't have a shot. Stay in school, it's your best move. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. Here the score is 24-21 UCLA with 9.54 remaining. And the Bruins have the ball on their own 27-yard line. 1967, one of John McKay's national championship teams. You know, that play was actually called as a pass. I might call it. G. Green, 24X out. And our quarterback, Toby Page, automatic to the 23 blast. Thank God for Toby. Thank God for number 32. <laughs> he wasn't a bad player. First down for the Bruins at their 27. Cook. Fake. Rolling out. Throws. Incomplete. Trap, they say. Pretty good defense over there on the intended receiver, Stokes. I mean, they had a couple of guys all over them, including Seahorn. Second and 10 at the 27. It's a bootleg where they try to go back one on one to J Jason Seahorn's right there on JJ Stokes. He short hopped it. Cook is 14 of 31 for 112 yards. Second down for the Bruins at their 27. Cook hands off. Dropped almost in his tracks as Davis. Hop was there along with Willie McGinnis. It'll be third down and call it 10 of the 27. 9.32 remaining in this football game. Reggie Perry comes out. Cop comes out. Get a couple of extra defenders in there. Small is in. Third and 10. Lincoln has come in. Defensive secondary for SC. Cook in the shotgun. Going to throw it. Drops back, steps up, throws long downfield. Caught. Herpin drags him down. Jordan deep down at the Trojan 21. What a play by Cook. Well, he really did. He bought himself some time here, and he laid it right out there on the old post pattern. 53 yards with a third and 10 at his own 27. Cook hits that guy, Jordan, and the Bruins are knocking at the door once again. Or is that... Does he have good eyes? First down and 10 at the 21. Trojan defense will be hard pressed to keep the Bruins out of the end zone now. Give it to the tailback coming outside, slips and falls. That's Davis. It'll be second down. At the 20, second and nine. Eight twenty-five. Twenty-four twenty-one UCLA at the Trojan twenty yard line. Washington the up back. Cook to throw. Flips it out. Pass is caught by Davis. He's at the 15. Pulled down at the 13-yard line. Flag on the play. They're going to call face mask, I guess. Well, Wayne Cook did a great job there. USC brought their two inside backers, and that leaves your tailback free, and he popped it out there. 
See at the top of the screen, they've got a little twist stunt. He looks it off and dumps the ball. See if he can catch the face mask. Going to be first and goal at the seven. Yeah. Jason, it's an in inadvertent one, but he did grab him. First and goal. They'll mark it at the seven yard line, I would think. Now they're going to put it at the eight. So leading by three. Trojans have got to stop the Bruins here, or they'll be down by 10 with less than eight minutes to play. First and goal. Hand off to Davis. Doesn't get much. Brian Williams makes the stop. Second and goal at the eight. Another look at it. Again, it's the off tackle play. It was a great job by Small there, closing off the fullback and squeezing down the hole. Second and goal at the eight. Cook back to throw, has time, dumps it over the middle. Tackled at about the three is Wynn. Tackle made by Kopp. It'll be third and goal at the three-yard line. Turn a little reverse pick. Send the tight end to the outside and then cross your flanker underneath. He had enough time to find Wynn coming back to the inside, but they picked with the outside backer. I tell you, the offensive line has really taken care of Cook today. They really have. Third and goal at the three-yard line. Cook. Looking, throws in the end zone. No good. No good. Oh. Had Allen wide open and missed him by a wide margin. Is Wayne Cook mad at himself? He is banging his head on the ground. So now we'll see Merton and a try for the field goal. That would put the Bruins up by six. Here it is, bootleg coming out here to his right. Looking to Allen right there and tipped by Holland. Way to get your hands up in the air, baby. Be a 21-yard field goal try. Merton missed one a moment ago. One for two today. Snap, he hits it. Won't miss this one. It's good. 26 to 20. The Bruins lead. The fourth quarter has 6-12 to go. Stay tuned. It's hard on us, you know. It's the stop and go. You yeah. never stop. Traffic can be tough. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You gotta sort of stay on top of it. It's tough being a cab, but uh, when you get that Chevron with Tecron, you know, it helps keep my engine clean. clean you know? Because it's a dirty job. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to do you it. Need all the help. <laughs> no gasoline cleans your engine better than Chevron with Tecron. Chevron, simply smarter. I fantasize about Europe. The drivers over there are crazy, man. Is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Uh, buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. What? I need a lift. I need a lift. Oh, get the showers, kid. Take it home, big fella. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three, mm. four. He had to do it. The guy had nothing left. Raul Mondesi and the Dodgers on Fox Sports West 2. Home team's Fox Attitude. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA football on Fox Sports West 2. The Bruins lead by six at 27-21. You've got 6-12 to play in the ball game. And the Trojans are awaiting the kickoff from Merton. Dotson, along with Grace, the two deep men. Merton hits it and hits it well. Grace is in the end zone and will down it there to come out to the 20. Rob 
Johnson is 18 of 29, two touchdowns, 220 yards. His would be an easier chore if SC had been able to run the ball against the Bruins, but they haven't. Running game has been minimal. Because of it, it's barely used by John Robinson and Mike Riley. Johnson to throw. Comes out in the flat, complete to Deion Struther, who gets to the, well, call it the 25 before Greenwood and company wrap him up. That'll make it second and five at the 25. Yeah, you can bet the Bruins are going to play plenty of zone defense. They're going to try to keep the ball in front of them, not let USC break the big play. And they did it on first down. I know that. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank you for your comments. Craig Ferdig and I have enjoyed being with you on this Trojan season. Dr. Bob Francis, loyal friend and spotter, Sandy Nanhoff, and Dennis Benishin in the booth with the stats. There's a flip to Walters. He's got two guys looking at him. They run him out of bounds where? At the 29. That'll make it third and one as Lawrence and Miller combine. Third and one at the 29. Well, of course, Trojan fans are hopeful that Johnson can take him down the field, use up the clock, and with little or no time left, throw it in the end zone for six, kick the extra point for seven. And then, of course, more things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. Third and a yard to go at the 29. Edwards came on a blitz and buried, buried the ball carrier without a chance. Boy, did he come free. And that takes care of third and one. Now fourth and about four. Watch him come on the blitz right there. Deion Struther never had a chance. Stonehouse back to kick, and he'll be asked to do it again. That is kicking a long way. There's the rush. He gets it away. It's a fine kick. Fair catch is signaled for. Takes a bounce. Trojans will down it at the Bruin 32. Well, 41 yards. Stonehouse, maligned most of the year, has really been a big asset for the Trojans. Last week in their win over Washington, and he's kicked the ball beautifully today. The Trojan running game has been non-existent. And for the first half, they were unable to stop the Bruins on the ground. And aside from the third quarter, they've not been able to contain a very good bunch of running backs. Now the Trojans, of course, need a break, a big break, with the ball at the Bruin 32. 4.48 to go. The Trojan defense is going to see big doses of the UCLA running backs right now. I would imagine SC needs a major turnover to turn this one around. Handoff with it is Davis. And he just drifts forward for a yard or maybe two. Call it second and eight out of the 34. Clock shows four and a half. Trojans have the two timeouts. You know, there was a ball game played here. That 66 game where Beeman through the 65, where Beeman through the two. Mike Garrett had more yards rushing than the entire UCLA football team. Exactly. He went up and down the field that day. We just couldn't get it in the end zone. No. Bobby Stiles made a fortune out of tackling Garrett in midfield. He did. Parlayed it into a fortune. Cook gives it to his tailback, and Davis squirms over the 40 to the 41. Gain of seven, third, and a yard to go as Cunningham and Seahorn combine. So the Bruins, unless the Trojans can stop them here, are making plans for Pasadena. Interestingly enough, Davis has got 154 yards and 27 carries. Well, he's a good looking back. I, really I like the looks of him. Out of Houston, Texas. Third down and a yard to go. Will Cook throw it? Gives it to Hicks, who is dropped for no gain. Holland buries him short of the 40. Holland repaid the favor. And so it is fourth down with three minutes to go. The Bruins continue to lead by six. That was a big, big play. Two minutes and 55 seconds, and the clock is ticking. 2.54. 
Seahorn is at the Trojan 20. 2.47. Jager, the left-footed kicker, standing back at his own 25. Talk about kicking the ball. This guy does it as good as anybody in the country. And he hits a line drive this way. Fair catch. Seahorn at the 19-yard line. So let's see. After a 42-yard punt and no return, we'll have a first and 10 at their own 19. Two minutes and 30 seconds remain in the fourth quarter as the Bruins lead by six. Trojans obviously need a touchdown. A field goal is of little use to them. Remember, if the Trojans tie this game, although that would be difficult to see, they would go to the Rose Bowl. 93,458. Going long downfield for Grace. Too high, too far. Man, he had him there, and Grace was beyond the secondary, as good as Lawrence and Greenwood were. But it's going to be second and 10 at the 19. Until the UCLA outside light, Patrick, Donnie Edwards, number 23, put the pressure on Rob Johnson once again and forced him to throw it a little sooner than he'd like. Some of this crowd of 93, 458 making their way toward the exits. Not many. Some. Second and ten for the Trojans. 2.25 to go in the ball game. At their own 19. Johnson dumps it off. Walters at the 20. He gets a yard. Bruins looking for that play, obviously. It's not going to get much. That was good defense by UCLA. They drop back into a zone, dropping eight people, and then make you throw the short pass and then close on your tailback. Well, it is third down and nine for the Trojans just in outside the 20 yard line and SC is down to what might be their last play of this football game. Third and nine at the 20. Johnson's got to come up with some kind of magic. Gets a rush. Steps up. Throws the pass down. He's got Morton. Morton is at midfield. Morton on his feet. Struggling goes down at the Bruin 45. 35-yard completion to Johnny Big Play Morton. The clock shows a minute 36. And the clock stops with that first down. They ran Johnny Morton into the flat and then up. Rob did a great job of finding him. Keep going, John. Keep going. Fight to get out of bounds. That was a super job by Rob Johnson. Lawrence had him but not let him get away. It's first and 10 at the Bruin 46. Johnson back to throw. Looking. Throws it long downfield for Grace. He's got it at the five. He's down to the two. <laughs> 43 yards. Holy cow, Grace what a throw. Goal at the three-yard line. Boy, what a throw by Rob Johnson. He's running a post pattern. He was trying to go to Brad Banner to the right. Now he sees the post, and he puts this one right on the money, baby. Again, Lawrence is there to save the touchdown. And now the Trojans with a minute 16. After that 43-yard toss and catch, have a first and goal at the Bruin three. Boy, this, everybody's standing here. So he's, try, he's trying to go to Brad Banner. Now he knows he's got the post one-on-one -on -one of the wide side of the field. Kenny Grace beats him on the post. Super throw. Don't overlook the coverage by Lawrence. That's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, I mean, he was right there. That's as good a defense as you can play. Well, the Trojans have been down here before and come away empty. First and goal at the three. Johnson and Banta come on the field. Minute 16 to go. Win, lose, or draw. This is man, one corking <laughs> good football Not game. Typical SCU Sally football game. God, I think it's better than that. Walter straight ahead gets buried at the line of scrimmage. 
aren't going to give him a thing. It'll be second and goal at the three. Clock shows a minute five. And SC has called timeout. No, the Bruins have called timeout. Well, there's a minute five to go. Are you glad you tuned in? We'll be back to see how it ends. To have a dream, but never the chance to achieve it. That is perhaps the greatest tragedy in life. The United Negro College Fund exists to bring the dreams of thousands of young people within reach. Hands that yearn to touch lives. We train to heal, to teach, to bless. We encourage souls that hear music to write symphonies and sing anthems. And to those once bound by poverty, we present a wealth of possibilities. When you support the United Negro College Fund, you give more than money. You give dreams that may have died the power to live. Support the United Negro College Fund. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. What lower round draft pick just might stun the NBA by becoming his team's leading rebounder this year? The Sporting News knows. Do you? What hot goalie will dominate NHL offenses to power his team to a great season? The Sporting News knows. Do you? What surprising rookie sensation could send his team soaring into the Super Bowl? The Sporting News knows, and you can too, when you call now to claim your no-cost, four-issue Sporting News mini-subscription. Plus, reserve these great sports binoculars free. When it comes to the NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, and the NHL, nobody keeps you in the know quite like the Sporting News. What GM's blockbuster trades will turn his pretenders into pennant contenders next season? The Sporting News knows, and now you will too. Call now for your no-cost four-issue Sporting News mini-subscription. If you like it, get 24 more issues, 28 in all, for four easy payments of just $4.99. Plus, get these great binoculars free with your paid subscription. Call now. You're watching the best of USC and UCLA basketball on Fox Sports West 2. 27-21, the Bruins lead by six. There's a minute five to go. SC is at the Bruins three-yard line on a third and goal. UCLA has two timeouts. SC has one. Second and goal at the three-yard line. tell you, tension is 10 cents a ton. Amazing. Nothing but the Rose Bowl on the line. Well, if SC scores and doesn't even get the extra point, they, they go. win with a tie. Here they are, second and goal at the three. Walters gets to the two. Third and goal at the two. 57 seconds. And the Trojans take their last timeout. I don't know. I would have had to throw the ball once down here, don't you? Yeah, that's, uh, I was thinking they were going to play action pass there. You, you fake up inside to Sean Walters, bring your quarterback out. He has the option to run or pass. Let me correct that. That timeout was taken by UCLA. Another good job by Donnie Edwards, the outside linebacker from UCLA, squeezing it down from the outside. Well, that's Mike Berry, the man in the foreground there, Joe Berry's dad. All right. Heck of an offensive line coach and a great guy. Rob Johnson comes out third down and goal at the, what, two-yard line now? I guess at the two, two and a half. I've always liked to have your quarterback keep the ball. I know when I was playing with Mike Garrett, of course, everybody was concentrating on him. I'd call a run and play with him, and then I would whisper to him as we came out of the huddle, I'm going to keep it. That was always from the six-inch line in, though. I was going to say, because Garrett was the strongest guy that ever <laughs> played this game. He could pick you up with one hand, throw you into the third row. He still can. Third and goal from the two. Johnson in the end zone, intercepted. Intercepted. That's going to take care of that. Terry 
Donahue is on the field. They might get 15 yards for an illegal uh, celebration. I'm sure they're going to, or they should. The man who intercepted it. I really don't know. It might have been Greenwood. Maybe not. It might have been Goodwin. I think it was Goodwin because they were trying to go to Tyler Cashman. Now that they come with the play action pass, trying to take the flat Tyler Cashman. Oh, he steps in front. Lord. Goodwin makes the play. You can't throw the ball into coverage like that, can you? No. Nope. There were three men around him. Oh, this, my. This is one of the things UCLA has been great at this year is making the offense turn the ball over to him. It's a shame that Johnson, who's had such a great season, would end up with that poorly, uh, poor pass play. Too bad. Here's Rob right here. He's trying to get that touchdown, so he forces the football. Goodwin picks it off. I'm surprised they didn't hit the Bruins for a boisterous celebration, you know, on sportsmanlike. Well, 50 seconds, and you can rest assured the Bruins will take it and just drop to one knee. They'll drop to one knee. You know, Tom, look at the faces of those USC football players. I know it's tough right now on them, but this team has really shown a lot of character this year. They've come from a long way back. Well, it would take a miracle to turn this one around as Cook is hit and dropped back at the 16-yard line. Clock running, 43 seconds. SC is going to stop the clock with a timeout. My, my, my. Twice today, the Trojans were unable to score from the five-yard line and inside. Twice today. I think that's the key to the whole football game. You get down there twice and come away with nothing. So this will end a string of um, non-victories for Terry Donahue. Ten times he had been turned away with the Rose Bowl on the line. Excuse me, five times. The Bruins ten times. And the Rose Bowl decider record will now go to 15-6-1. Ironic as it is, the Trojans will be co-conference champions with the Bruins and conceivably with Arizona. SC's yeah, a worst conference record will be 6-2. The best the Bruins can be is 6-2. and two. Second down and about... 14 with 41 seconds, and again, Cook will just sit on the ball or fall down on it. No timeouts left, and the clock will run down, and that will be the end of this one. Well, it was some kind of a football game. The Trojans, despite not having a running game, certainly had their opportunities to score. Twice inside the five at the three and the four-yard line. Failure to put it in the end zone, and you're not going to pass it in. That's it, 10 seconds, and this one's over, and the Bruins can start to celebrate. 27-21. Donahue gets the monkey off his back, and they'll go to the Rose Bowl to play, I don't know, maybe even Wisconsin. Who knows? Those are two classy guys and two great football coaches. The both said all week, this is what it's all about. This football game is college football. Johnson is over there, and uh, talking to him was uh, Stokes. Interestingly enough, Stokes and Morton never did quite figure into this game in any dramatic fashion. There was the Bruin running attack, and Johnson to Ken Grace, for the most part, that kept the Trojans in the game, and the running attack by the Bruins that dominated the game in the end. A lot of guys who played against each other in high school, grade school, perhaps. Yeah, there's some side bets going on out there. Yep. 
So the Bruins win it 27 to 21. Some of the Trojans can't quite believe it. Rob Johnson might be one of them. Quite a football game. That big guy, Jamer, Jameer Miller, ought to have a bouquet. He's a what? We'll have a final note in just a moment. 